This is a Rooster Teeth production. Topic, I'm your host, Michael. We've got Nick, Gus, and Joe. Boom, how'd you like that? I don't know how to snap. Got through it pretty quick. I don't know how to snap? I mean, you know how, you just can't, right? There's, there's really not no well, how. Just because just, 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 just yeah. it's not super loud. I can't, I can't do it with my left. Even my right's not good. Well, <sighs> fortunately, none of this is good. Hey, <laughs> I'm going to get this fucking thing out of the way. If you're watching this live for like That's right Cody. now. Uh, no, Cody was behind the screen. He, oh. He's getting rid of it. <laughs> okay. He's running. Uh, uh, tickets for RTX go on sale tomorrow for first member. <gasps> oh. So if you want damn early bird specials, all that. Ooh. Uh, tomorrow, starting tomorrow. That's right, tomorrow. And then all tickets available Monday the 6th. Wait, that was this past Monday. Well, I'm going to guess April. Like the next month? No. Yeah. No? No, it oh. doesn't line up. Oh, he just fucked it up. I, yeah. oh. See, Gus, I just took a stab at it. Yeah. I did a read on Monday. Here's the and thing. And we were saying that they were available hey, then. Here's the thing. Oh. Hey, Cody, why don't you go over that again? <laughs> <laughs> come, come walk over here. Refresh. Walk over refresh. here. Huh? Just come on. Just walk over here so the audience knows what's happening. <laughs> what did you do? Shame. What happened? Okay, I just confirmed. Yes, the 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 Monday the sixth. Yes, you Gus is right. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. That's today. Stabbed. So they can oh, get their no. RTX <laughs> tickets tomorrow for first members. No, get them now. Tickets tomorrow. Oh, so they're just out. They're out now. Yeah, they're out now. <laughs> oh. Get them now. Get them now. Yeah. No, yeah. wait till tomorrow. Oh, yeah. And then the sixth. Wait till tomorrow, and then, and the then you get the Cody special. April sixth. Yeah. His his his, his his badgers are so special they come out again. <laughs> <laughs> See what re- what really confused me, Gus, because like now I'm understanding this is like a script from a different yeah. show. Is uh, is the week doesn't make sense, right? Because right. like it's, I'm like, but it's the ninth. It would be he took it from your show, so not only incorrect but no, laziness. I think, oh, but available Monday the sixth because we were already available Monday the sixth. Mm-hmm. So it was it wasn't like. Well, available Monday show. the 6th it would have been available today. That might have been from late last week. That was probably from a, a stream like from last Friday, I bet. <gasps> what wow. 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 Groundbreaking. Use code Cody. <laughs> so the point is the tickets are on sale. RTXevent.com. Early bird pricing ends at the end of this month. So get them now. I remember that. Don't say a date because it's going to be yeah. wrong. That's how you say it. End of the month. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I just take extra delight in it because right before we started, just Cody going like, yeah, if you could just read this, like no big deal. Whatever. And then it immediately went to shit as soon as we started. I was like, let me get this out of the way. And it's been all, like but five minutes. I wish I had looked at it before the show. I would have oh, noticed. Oh, no, I'm glad you didn't. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> oh, you scrolled down last second. It's okay. No one to blame. Um, by the way, if okay. you're like, Nick, who's Nick? Nick, Nick the sauce monkey, by the way. This is not Face Jam. He's allowed to speak. And take the head off. So the head's gone. Head's gone. It's in but, the office. But it's close. It's, <laughs> it's always nearby. Yeah, it's kind of become a weight. How often do you oh. dry clean that thing? I haven't yet. Mm. He's got a. <laughs> he's got an extra. I have two of them. Okay, good. So I but have you ever dry cleaned either of them? No. No. Well, one just gets worn. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one is for <laughs> special <laughs> productions. <laughs> you got a hero one. In yeah, yeah. Uh, it's. Nick, you're basically, you have your finger in so many podcasts. So right? many. Podcasts. Like, almost damn near every one. And I feel like, like, there's, you were there silently for a while, and now you're slowly emerging in each of them. Uh, I'm slowly being, I don't know if pulled is the right You're way. being dragged in fuckface, I, I hear. And yeah. I, I've started yelling hands off, like, to Eric, <laughs> just to pass it along. Eric likes to do a lot of things when we're doing Face Jam stuff. We'll talk about fuckface, and I'll say, yeah, they, and I go, no, 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 that's you. You're there. <laughs> He There's we, yeah. like me and Jordan. We're we. You are they. Okay. He'll just go, no, when I'm here, I'm we. They're they. They're they. <laughs> Can't go, you sides. fucking tell them over there. <laughs> tell them. Fuck off. <laughs> keep, your fingers out of, keep your fingers out of our pies. Add a Nick pie. Yeah. Well, the Nick pie, they're, they're starting to pull out. I know, because they, it's a pie you can't resist. It's delicious. He's just he's like a more, like still odd, but more presentable Chris Demiris. Oh. You know, like... like He looked pro- insulted when he said well, that. Well, <laughs> the, the thing about Nick is like, he's probably as weird, but it would take a long time to know. Chris, it would be like, okay, have a good night. Who the fuck was with that guy, <laughs> you know? Yeah, we did we did an RTP uh, right right before Thanksgiving. I think we did the, the thing where we were trying to like the Jam's Giving Foods like we were making everything so it yeah. was solid. Um, and every single comment that was about me and that I felt was like, 
He's a lot, he has a lot of mannerisms like Chris Damaris. Are they brothers? Are they lost cousins kind of thing? Whoa, they're found cousins. Sounds like it. <laughs> Magic of Rooster Teeth. The real cousins are the ones we met along the way. Ah. No. We were loved along the way. I'm sorry, Joe. Nothing. What? No, what was that? No, 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 no. What? No, we're good. No, Joe, we want to include you no, too. No, no, no. When you have a comment, we want to highlight it. No, no. Okay. Your hair is getting long now. Yeah, it is say. getting long. No, but now it's starting to look better long. It's yeah. Not, not as, <laughs> yeah, I was well, well, it's not in, it's like not in middle as phase. Alfredo. Don't call it middle. Call it what it was. Um, um, my mop, my mop, mop phase. Mop. Alfredo kept saying you have a mop. <laughs> Get that mop off your head. And now it's like, it's it's kind of crested the mop. Yeah, now it's starting now to like got, swoop. Yeah. It's got some form. Yeah. Like, it's like yeah. rocker hair. Yeah. yeah. And then it's going to go all the way down here, and then I'm going to cut it all off because I'm going to get tired of it. <laughs> Plus, it'll be super hot. I'm just growing it out just to do it. Yeah. Just do it Does once. your hair grow at a regular rate, or does it get to a point and then, like, slow down or whatever? Like, my hair will grow fast as shit to a point, and then it just kind of, like, grows inward. It's because it's curly, too. Mm -hmm. But, like, the length won't increase. It'll just mass. Will your hair, hair just grow no. forever? Yeah, my hair grows, like, super fast and it's just constantly. It's just, it's just gravity? Is it just It's fall? just gravity, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But yeah, no, I mean, it grows fast and uh, I'm hoping that that means that I can keep it going and then cut it off and then not worry about it. I, I, I you can just cut it now and not yeah, worry no, about it. You can end it Because I want to like, I want to experiment. I want to experiment <laughs> with it. You see how it goes? And see how yeah, it goes. Okay. You want to show maybe future kids pictures where you looked different <laughs> and not like a cartoon character. All, like, and here I had long hair. Like why? To show you. He's going through the character. Which one? Which one? I've never, I've never grown as. it like past like my chin, so I don't really know what it would look like if it's like. And it's always just the top that I grow. I never grow out the sides or the back. Hmm. So this is the first. So, one so, so when long. you grow it, you actively trim it. Like yeah, like spots. it's. I always I see, like, I've never fade done the that sides either. and the back, and then I always keep the top long. That also but. makes a lot of sense of why my hair always looks like shit because it's not like oh he's growing it, but he's <laughs> nope. I just get it cut in six months, so it's just like everywhere. I, did, I went uh, for quite a while you know, during the start of the pandemic, not getting a haircut, mm -hmm. and it got pretty long for a while. But the problem, the, it annoyed the hell out of me because I felt like anytime I showered, it took forever to dry. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. Also, oh, also yeah. It's, yeah. A, no. it's a ton of shampoo. Yeah. It was like, yeah. like I'd be the afternoon and be like, "How is my hair still damp? <laughs> yeah. Like, what, what the fuck is wrong with it? No, I mean, I wet my hair pretty much every day, and it, it doesn't like, it doesn't stay super damp. For like hours, mm. maybe like an hour. Wet it, like without washing it. What do you mean? Like I wa I like wash my hair. It's a very different word. It's just with, a weird way to say. It. With I wet my hair. I guess it is weird. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't, like, I don't wash like, it with like shampoo I wet conditioner my hair sometime every day, or like else obviously yeah. my fucking scalp will be like really dry and flaky, mm -hmm. and you don't want that. suck. You don't want that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I I I wet my hair. I don't know how else to say it. Okay. I don't wash I mean, it. With you don't have to say it any other way. We were just double checking. Yeah. That that's the word you wanted to use and stick with, like Alfredo going and getting hurt over Jimin. Jimin, and then the doctor just lays into him. <sighs> yeah, he's, he's like oh, he yeah. like pulled like a dead. He got a whole bunch of shit wrong to him, wrong with him. But like he was at the doctor, and he was like, "So like, what happened?" He's like, "Yeah, I was just like, I was Jimin, and whatever." And he's like, "Jimin, oh, okay, Jimin." And it was just like, yeah, it's a weird word, but I guess like the doctor really got hung up on it. And just kept like making fun of him for it. He's like, "Hey, get a load of this guy." He got her Jimmy. <laughs> I was like, wow, what an asshole. That's awesome. <laughs> like the fucking Dr. House. Yeah, watching him malpractice in front of you. <laughs> Look at my doctor's malpracticing right here. I'm about to be suing him. Uh, yeah, but that is, a, that is a weird way to put it. That's a weird yeah. But it's funny. It's all, I will say it's a weird way to put it, but like people, people fumble the words. It's a weird profession for the doctor to go, gotcha. And, you know, I go, yeah. I'm like, I would do that, certainly. But I'm not a doctor. The doctor is supposed to be okay saying whatever. The doctor. He's like, I got this weird fucked up thing. The doctor's like, I'm looking at your oozing nutsack. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Literally, like, right. what, how you're constructing it. This guy was like, what did you say, idiot? <laughs> well, let me put that in your chart. <laughs> Dumb as fuck. <laughs> he wrote it with pen, too. I think he, I think he, did, I think I think he actually did put it in the Yeah, I think Fredo said oh, that his, it down. his official, like, diagnosis was like got hurt quote unquote Jimmy on the actual paper. <laughs> like, this guy's got an axe to grind. Yeah. It's like when you were a kid in school and like it's gonna go on your permanent record. Like that doesn't really exist, but it's like your medical record. Like that's your real permanent record right. once you're an yeah. adult. It's like you're like years from now is gonna be is seeing a doctor like see so you suffered from Jimming uh, 25 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> He's writing some special for a medical journal and uh, he turns to him like <clears throat> yeah. he, it turns out going to the gym you lose some brain cells. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just a picture of Alfredo, Jimmy. 
<laughs> gymming too hard. To have gymmed. Oh. Um, this, I liked this cast. It's an interesting spread of both age and like years at company. Because mm. I was saying uh, to Jeff earlier this week, Gus, in, uh, in July, when I turn 36, I'll be as old as Jeff was when he hired me. Yeah. <laughs> it's like four months. It's funny. I was thinking about this earlier today. When my parents were the age I am now, I was 24. So it'd be like me having a 24-year-old kid right now working down the hall. Whoa. <laughs> Which is fucking insane to me, and I hate it, and I never want to think about that again. And it's funny, because when you got hired, we were very different ages. But yeah. as you get older, those ages converge. Mm -hmm. It's like the, the, the big difference doesn't meet, is not nearly as big yeah, a difference I, anymore. Yeah, I was saying that to you in the hallway, not kidding that you wore that shirt. I was like, fuck, I'm glad I wore this, because I was... I wore a shirt that is a different color, very close to that shirt. <laughs> and, I, and, and I was talking about just like more Joe and like some of the younger people. Um, but I was like, I was like, I'm not kidding. I was like, I got more of your stuff than their stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, it, it's 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 funny how that happens. But I'm glad it's, it's the circle of life. Got uh, new people yeah. new people coming in to to kill us and bury us. <laughs> I'm not here to kill anybody. Well, oh, I'm well. not worried about you. So that's. You're not a threat. Am I not capable of killing you? That I, that's why you're asking me. I don't know. <laughs> what? I mean, anyone probably is capable, but I just don't think. You could pull it off. Yeah. Oh. Are you challenging him? Are you challenging no. me? To I just don't off? think you have the wherewithal. I mean, Joe, I'll say this. Joe is confident about a lot of things that he could do. Like could. when he goes, hey, how about this? Instead, I do this, this, and this, and then we do that instead. And I go, great. If you do those three things, what an idea. <laughs> but now... You got to do them. Or just we do the other thing that I said first. <laughs> yeah. Do that. He does, he does like to do that. I was going, here's a suggestion. Let me just throw this out there. Joe goes, this is a great idea. But what if instead I had this thing that we don't have and then the idea is completely different? Like, cool. Do you have that thing? No. <laughs> I'll just say, hypothetically. It's hypothetically. Kinda like, it's kind of like when I brought up World War Three in well, one video. Well, a hypothet yeah, a hypothetical. Yeah. Hypothetically. It was, it was, I don't even remember what, how, what the whole conversation was. It was, was. historically it was important, important, historically unimportant. You said World War III. It just made, made Jack really mad, so I, oh. think, I think it was good. It was worth it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Some things never change. <laughs> <laughs> um, how's, the, uh, how's, that old, how's that old RTP going? Good. It's been, it's been, We're like 750 yeah. episodes. No, 742 episodes in, I think. I can't remember the last time I was on. I can't remember the last time I was here. No, same. <laughs> yeah, and it was, and I know it's like, I even remember, shit, I remember probably like right around when Off Topic first started, within the first like year. Because before that, I was on yeah. more frequently. And then it was just like a while of doing this. And then I don't remember how it just came up at some point of like, I don't know, Gus just hasn't asked me to be on RTP in a while or whatever. And I talk to you and you're like, well, yeah, you have your own show. Yeah. As, in, as in like, I just assume you don't want to do it. I'm yeah. like, oh, I appreciate it. So we never invite yeah. each other ever. Yeah, it's like. And that's, that. it's just like. You already have to talk off the top of your head. And there's all these new people. I'm like, oh, great. And they're all getting on. It's like, oh, you can be on. I go, no. <laughs> but then I'm like, well, oh, Gus. I'm yeah. like, Gus will do it. Yeah, I was surprised yeah. when John slacked me. He was like, hey, you want to do off topic? I was like, like, yeah, yeah, sure. Why, why not? not? Yeah. You, know, it's bad, you know, five years or something. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Maybe longer. <laughs> How many episodes are you up to here? We got, what are we, like around 350? That sounds right. 400? Yeah. In the 300s, I think. Keep it up, kid. Probably, You'll get there. Yeah, <laughs> no, I don't want to. You know that old 20-year-old, yeah, 24-year-old? <laughs> Dude, uh, we... I have real kids. I don't need this show. <laughs> we did an episode of RTP almost every week I was in my 30s. That's, <gasps> yeah. Oh, dang. Dad. Yeah. Can... <laughs> yeah, there's really, there's really nothing that you need to do that long no. forever. <laughs> like consecutive. Raise a kid? Consecutive. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Even then, though, there's kind of ebbs and flows. Sure. Like, I've been raising this kid every Monday at 5 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Between 5 and 7. It's my day to visitation. Yeah. 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 I'll read anything they chat at me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's off to daycare. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, it's, uh, it's funny. And there, you were talking about how... Nick has his hands in lots of pies, like loads of them. Even fucking though, everything. I mean, Nick was, the, if people don't know, was like the the audio audio guy. Like yeah. it's just in the beginning of like, oh, if there's a person for a podcast, Nick's in it. Yeah, and to this day, even like once we're done recording Black Box Down, even though he's not in Black Box Down, it's like I send all the files to Nick, who then like oversees the the magic of like the editing. Yeah, yeah. And the I, we got to see directly in in Face Jam at how he offloaded all of his work. What? 
to other people, That's not true. but still maintain like, well, I'm in charge of the audio, and I get to be in the show and eat all the food. <laughs> This guy, this guy, bonus, when sure. we, when we <clears throat> were doing episodes from our car, because it's like in the beginning of the pandemic, pandemic we were like, we, we got, we got to be able to see each other. Yeah. And so we'd come to the parking lot and park all our cars looking at each other. And, uh, Nick had paternity like during some of that Oh time. yeah, that's right. And so it's like, oh, don't worry about it. We got it. And he's like, no, no, I'll come. I'll come. And so he yeah. would come. I wanted to make sure it sounded He would good. come to make sure it sounded yeah. good during his paternity leave to do the podcast <laughs> in a car because he would get like a free cheeseburger. <laughs> Listen, you, you can motivate a lot of people with I'm free cheeseburger. I'm just saying, Absolutely. like, that's, that's when you start realizing, oh, wait a minute. What's up with this guy? Hang on a second. Yeah, does this cheeseburger have a pretzel? Book? I mean, like, what are you talking about here? We had some very important discoveries come up during yeah, that time. Yeah, it's been good. Time. Taco Cabana. It was it was interesting at how because you know, everybody's got their own thing going on. You know, you see like it in the company, or at least like people you know in charge of projects. Like I said, like with Rooster's podcast, it's like oh, I see Gus over there, like yeah, there he is. Yeah. You know? And then you do the same. You're like, oh, yeah, cool. yeah. But if you're not like directly in it, it's just kind of like broad strokes. And I feel like that was most of this company with Nick and the monkey because the show started, <laughs> and it was just like oh, it's Face Jam. It's like a food thing. Even then, it was. Almost not a food thing by episode five. Yeah. You know, That's like the food's true. there, but it's like, oh, there's so many layers to it. So then once people start going like, who's the monkey? <laughs> I think it was, I think it was right around um, Dead Little Roosters mm -hmm. because they wanted the monkey in it. And, and I, and I just kept like, people would be like, oh, hey, you know, people working on it in, in the production, like, you know, just like we'll run this by you because you guys have like that monkey mask. Like we want to use it for the show. And I'm just like, why? And they're like, well, we just want to use it. I'm like, right. But it's like. It's Nick, though. And they're like, what are you talking about? Yeah. And like, that was like a like an actual thing people were very confused about. And I'm like, well, you can't use it if it's not Nick, though. It doesn't make sense. And they're like, no, no, no. Somebody else will wear it. No. <laughs> and, and I'm just like, I can't. I can't. There was so much like back and forth to realize like, oh, it's like him in the show. I'm like, yeah, it's all looped in. Like, it's dumb as shit. I understand <laughs> that's why you, you're you not grasping it because it's stupid as hell. But I'm like, this, this guy. And then, then also when I'm like, not only is it. Is it just like it's it's him? But I'm like, if people know that, they're gonna think it's him when they watch the show. Right. I, I'm just keep telling you, like, if you're gonna get fans of Face Jam, they're gonna go, "That's the Sauce Monkey." And if you don't make that reference, they're gonna be very confused. <laughs> they're gonna be like, "It's just a mask." Like, right. they're gonna think it's a misdirect. Right. So that was like the only like, I would say like, uh, creative input I had. In the, I was just like, if you're gonna use the monkey. You have, just, you have to I'm use like, the monkey. I was just like, I, whatever you do with it, yeah. it's fine. Like, I had nothing to do with whatever they wrote or whatever. I was just like, it just has to, this man has to be. I think I, the only thing I said, I was like, bro, if you want to have a, the monkey run around the whole thing and throw a flashback of the, his dead body on the ground and someone took it, <laughs> that works. I think I literally suggested that. I'm like, just because then for episodes, people are going to think it's Nick. And then if that's a thing of like, it's not him. It's like, even if you don't understand what I'm saying, just trust me. Yeah. It's like... Tr trust that I'm saying trust, something that's yeah. going to make sense. That's, yeah. 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 It's, I'm, like, I'm not even saying it's funny. I'm just telling you it's, it's, it makes sense. <laughs> the other day I was standing in the kitchen and uh, I was just getting a cup of coffee and uh, someone uh, from one of the other offices over here who I had never met before came up and was like, oh, hey, I'm Nick. He's like, oh, nice to meet you. You know, a little bit of a back and forth. He's like, wait, are you... Are you the sauce monkey? I'm like, yeah. Oh my god! I like, uh, didn't give a shit about me. He gave uh, a shit about no. Sauce well, I mean, monkey, yeah, but the sauce monkey like, is. He's you. like, oh my god, I'm a huge fan. Like, what? <laughs> I mean, what? He's literally wearing Hello? nothing but what? monkey merch. Like, he doesn't oh, know. Yeah. <laughs> on sale soon. This guy. Oh, that is on sale soon too. It is on sale. That soon. MLB thing that blew me. The other, the other funny part is, and we've done nothing to correct this, but we talk about it all the time. Is again because early on. When Face Jam was made, it was like me and Jordan and then Eric for like the producing mm -hmm. would be involved in this. There'd be no reason to like loop Nick in about the merch and shit. But for some reason, we haven't changed that in like <laughs> two and a half, three years. I hear about stuff later. And so, oh, so Eric had that baseball shirt and he was like, oh, this is coming out. And I'm like, holy shit, that never came out? He's like, yeah. I'm like, that's like old as fuck, right? And he's like, yeah, we were saving it for like the new season. I'm like, oh, that's never, I never knew it came out. And Nick just goes, I didn't know it existed. <laughs> <laughs> and he just goes, please, please invite me to the channel. And oh, I'm yeah. just going, I don't know, this is more fun when you get to find out that stuff's coming out. <laughs> it's very organic when I find out. It really it. is. It's, it's not. You get genuine reactions. Yeah. I find out when the audience finds out. And sometimes well, after. <laughs> sometimes after. But if you do find out, it, it, we do record it, Nick. Yeah, so it is before them. Well, so in those know. instances, sure. Okay. But when it gets tweeted out, it's like, When oh, it gets tweeted, that's, yeah. That's new. That's mm -hmm. nice. Um, it was nice. We did, and I know the company did a bunch of them, but we just did another one of those, like, shopping network oh, live right, streams. Right. I love doing the Face Jam live streams. Dude, they're a blast. 
Like, I know the, and somehow, Cody even I think with all the food, less messy than fuckface. That's probably true, actually. Uh, if Jeff's involved, though, it's like, you know. He's always like, up. if there's not something to spill, he's like pissing or shitting yeah. or throwing up or bleeding. Or bleeding. You know what bleeding. I mean? Yeah. Something's got to fucking now. come out of him. Uh, I still hurt from, I don't know if you saw it. I was basically on roller skates and we were doing this soda jerk thing. We were making these Utah sodas. They were disgusting. Oh, I heard about um, that, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, everybody in the office is like, what the hell is a Utah soda? So, I've, we've explained it so many times. And they're, they're awful. Like, half and half in a soda is, is like the thing a is weird they, concept it, to begin it, with. Like, they don't drink caffeine. Right. The whole thing. So, it's yeah. all like caffeine free, free soda, diet. Like workarounds. Right. So, it's like, there's only so many caffeine free sodas. So, it's like caffeine free soda with shit in get it. Get buzzed on sugar. Essentially, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, uh, Joe. No, I was just thinking, like, it sounds like pilk. No, yeah. You're, it's very, it's, it is. It's, 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 it's pilk world. Yeah. These are disgusting concepts when you say them. But you think it's just like, it's just like a root beer float. Oh, that's some are. Some, some. Some are. Like, there were one or two. They get to me. There was one we had that literally was like, I was like, this is root beer float. This is fine. There were others that were like citrusy and they were not good. Oh. Well, I, uh, to be fair, he also so, well, was, I, I definitely messed up. He also was making them, uh, fucking them up and falling on roller skates. Yes, I was. So. so the roller skates, I would go around and I fell off camera once, but then I fell a couple times behind. And uh, Michael, before we did the stream, Michael was saying like, yeah, I, I haven't skated in like 10 years. And uh, I can't imagine what it's going to be like for your 35 year old. Because I was I was falling down just as much. <laughs> yeah. But I was like 25. Right. So he can. And he's back. falling down in his oh, mid 30s. Yeah. Right. Like Very you're different. gonna hurt way more. I am still like this because there's this one spot on my back. Dude, he fucking oh, fell too. Shit, you know, like a 35 year old man from standing height to whoop. Like on, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like cartoon dude. slip. Oh, dude, it was so. Yeah. Good. And then one, I think you fell and then fell again. Go leave. Yep. That right? was, it was like yeah. a double fall. No, it was a real like an it was an embarrassed panic fall. You know, to try and like, I gotta get out of yeah. here. Oh no, they're looking. And then while yeah, I would, look, looking. I would look to see you fall. No, never mind. I wouldn't look but, to but see. I would look to see someone fall. There you go. So someone bad. else. <laughs> the, the roller skates come back and hit him, like bonk oh, him on the head. So, like you get not, Well, you wouldn't. Be, you would love to way. see it if it happened already and it's on video. Right. You know what I mean? Someone probably already lived it. There's no harm in watching it. Right. Now. They're, they're monetized. It. They can earn like <laughs> <laughs> a fraction of a penny off of me going. <laughs> that hurt. We did have the knockoff monkey on one. Live stream because you weren't here. Oh, that's right. That what a horrifying mess. Yeah, and I see it every time you walk by. You can his, see it hanging office? in the window. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 when you walk by, you can see it. Like, <laughs> what did he do? He came out. He was a lot of dancing and like fist Pointing pumping. Like yeah. yeah, it was very odd behavior. Dude, he was he was great. <clears throat> I was so disappointed. I was going to miss he that. Was. Yeah, whoever. I Gorilla. still don't know. He thought he could replace me. He's <laughs> very he's very territorial about both the the podcast. Right, like the audio, because we like to point yeah. out, you know, like, well, you don't really do it anymore. You know, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, and then the food, right? Well, yeah. Like, well, we don't, well, Nick's out of town. I'll go, I'll come, hang on. I can cut my vacation short. It's just Fiji. I'll just fly back, <laughs> yeah, fly back, fly back out. Listen, it's a late flight. It'll be okay. <laughs> it's the most fun, honestly, and it, I think it comes across in the show because it's genuine. Mm -hmm. Nick just wants a free cheeseburger. Or like, he'll just be like, well, it's a good sandwich. I'm cheap. Or like, we'll get food, and then he will literally go home, not Maybe exactly tell his wife, hey, we had vision. We'll just go, hey, you know, did you hear about this special? Because, like, we went to get food and the shake machine was broken and he didn't get it. So then he'll trick his wife later. It, go, you know what I got a hankering for? And she has no idea. He just had it for lunch. The, the We're like, what the fuck is wrong with The me? first time that happened was on an Arby's episode. And the one that was by our house did not have the item. So I just got, like, a regular roast beef sandwich and some curly fries or something. And I ate them for the episode. And then we did the episode. And they were talking about for it. For which, again, a food he does not need to eat or rate right, or anything right, has nothing right. to do with the show. Sure. Just, it's there. It's, it's just there. Yeah, it's but just this is kind of a bonding thing. But I want to experience it, too, on some level. But also, you know, it sounded good. And they, they actually gave it a decent review. So I was like, you know, that sounds good. And I turned to my wife, and I was like, you know, what if we had some Arby's for dinner? And not it, telling her. Not I, telling I her. I didn't get the Arby's no. sandwich today. Well, Can and, I try again? <laughs> and here's the thing. That's the first time my kid ever had fast food, too. Oh, my God. So what a bonding moment. Wow. wow. Arby's, wow. I'm, I'm Arby's? Yeah. What's your, how did your kid eat it? thought process that keeps Arby's in business. How did your kid eat Arby's? <laughs> He had some chicken tenders. Oh, I'm just saying, like, when you say first fast food, I guess I didn't know how old. Uh, he was, like, my, my he was a year and a half. He was one month old. He was a year and a half. <laughs> he just gummed some Arby's ah, until the beef went down. Want some crunchy fries. <laughs> He just dipped it into a soda first. <laughs> There's a, oh, a great SNL like skit pizza. from a few months ago about Arby's, where it's like a fake Arby's commercial, like, you know, five sandwiches for $10, Arby's, we have the meats. It's like, how? <laughs> 
five for ten? Like that doesn't seem right. Like how are you selling <laughs> right. so many sandwiches for so cheap? <laughs> it's like the whole thing's like, well, what's the correct amount for five sandwiches? I don't know. More than ten dollars. <laughs> like what are, you, what are you putting them in there? <laughs> yeah, the whole Arby's thing is just. I can't remember the last time I've been to Arby's. It's probably been twenty years since I've eaten. There's Arby's. really oh, no right. reason to run back. Mm-hmm. I don't. The only thing that's good at Arby's is for me is like curly fries. They do have good. But curly even fries. then, like I haven't had that in. Who knows how long? Their jalapeno pop- poppers are the best fast food jalapeno poppers too. I'm going out on a limb right now. I, I mean, there's not the that many. Take. Yeah, hot like, take. There's not many. I don't think there's any others. Oh, uh, Sonic. Sonic. Yeah. Sonic. Oh, oh, Jack oh. in the Box. Oh. Bleep, 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 bleep. bleep. Right. Right. Well, again, we're not in phase two. Well, we right. we banned it. Because, yeah. Well, mostly Eric's. Fault. Well, most it was Eric's fault. He tried to sell. They us kept some releasing tiny tacos and just changing the colors of them. <laughs> they're spicy now. They were not. They were just like no. painted red. And so, so we banned them. <laughs> that, he, just, he just kept saying, it's different. That's a dirty trick. No, it's different. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty silly. There's a place, uh, there's a barbecue place in the area, Southside Market. They sell those jalapeno slammers Ooh. that have forever ruined jalapeno poppers. Oh, there's one in, there's there's one in Elgin, right? Yeah. It's like a jalapeno stuffed with barbecue shit. wrapped with bacon. Oh, I'm in. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. And they, they weigh like a pound. Yeah, they're like, <laughs> they're you, like you could just eat that. Yeah. Like, like if you weren't that mm. hungry, it's it's like a it's like a meaty appetizer. I don't know. It's thick, man. Yeah. It, it, Texas it, just have big everything. It's like, like you just put it in your hand like, oh, my God. Yeah, you, you walk up and you, you just say, slam me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's one over They also have really good Elgin, ribs there. And there's one up off of Mopac in the Arbor Walk by the uh, Mighty Fine over there. It's funny, that actually, oh, yeah. I remember the first time I ever went to the South Side in Elgin is because we were fucking filming uh, Laser Team. Yeah, it's not far from the stadium. We were filming Laser Team out there. And oh, we, you that and we, it was, you know, it was all like night shoots, or a lot of it was night shoots. And <clears> one <throat> night in particular, we, because it was like a little far out from like where Rooster Teeth was, and, uh, I stayed in a hotel. Like they put put us overnight for like mm-hmm. one night, and so then I got up in the morning and it was like out in Elgin, which I like never had been in like the three years I'd lived here. I'm mm-hmm. like, where the fuck are we? And so then we ended up finding that place. And I'm like, holy shit, this place is good. Yeah. And it's like not that there aren't good places in Austin, but I mean like Elgin even now is not huge. But then it's like it's just well, nothing. There's yeah. nothing. It's it's 20 minutes away from Austin. There's nothing. But it's still this amazing barbecue. Yeah. Place. They're also no Elgin in, in general is known very specifically for sausage for That's Elgin true. sausage. See, I didn't know like, that. You're, you're relatively new here. You probably I, I've only been to Texas for like a year. Joe, so I didn't know I that. Know but they keep shit. telling you as you start driving in yeah. Elgin. There's signs <laughs> everywhere. It's sausage. like we're the sausage people. We know it. <laughs> if you wanted some good sausage. Take the short drive out to Elgin. Okay. It's not that. It's not that far. It's a thing. I think from, people in Austin would be like, "That's far." From it's here, it's like, probably like wait, fifteen wait, minutes, maybe. Nothing, yeah, which is nothing. Fifteen minutes, and people say that's far. You know people, what? people, people are just like they're just so. If it's outside the city, it's far. Yeah, it really, yeah. far isn't even really like a time, like distance. Yeah. it's just like I just want to stay right here. Yeah. You can just yeah. hop on. Even, even like traffic in Austin is not horrible either. There, there's, there's, there's well, there's times. The, the only time and directions. There's <laughs> yeah. it, it's very it's very specific though, yeah. right? Well, yeah, it's from, like from here. Rush hour and, and really 35. Easy, but, there's there's plenty of places where it's like don't do that. That is the only place with traffic. I think sometimes it's not like LA where you're like fuck no matter what you do wherever you go. Their mentality though is like 290 becomes a, a road that has lights every other. You know, once you hit Elgin yeah. at that point, or even out to Maynard, it's like you start to hit all lights instead of like being actually like a highway. Yeah. And I think at that point they're like, that's country area. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, absolutely. It's yeah. not yeah. the city. It is. Yeah. So they're like, I can't go there. Let's see how far Elgin is. I can't is. go back again. Oh, it's so freaking close. Because that's like even when when you go east, like once you drive outside of Austin, oh. it's kind of like, oh, it's like the blend of like text. Is Elgin, bullshit. Is, bullshit. Is Elgin How is that possible? 37 what? minutes? There's no way. There's no minutes. way Elgin's 37 minutes away from here. Let's go right well, now. <laughs> is it past Manor? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's like Manor uh, from? It could be. From it, Austin, it could be Manor's like halfway 35. There. Oh, oh it, could be. it could be like 30 minutes. I swear it doesn't. From I, here? Yeah, I've been... I, I, I go I'll, 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 I'll be honest though. If if it is the most, the longest, dif- not the longest distance, but like a good chunk of it is going to be getting from here to 290. <laughs> yeah, because you're slow as shit. It's 35 mm-hmm. like miles an hour. You get in 290 and you can mostly go 75. School zones are open now too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe there's school traffic out there. Slowing us down. Damn kids. Oh. <laughs> I saw I'm glad that we all got outraged. There's just 37 minutes. That's a lie. The satellites are lying. <laughs> there, there's a. Damn you! <laughs> <laughs> There's a post in the Austin subreddit a few days ago I saw from someone that was like, oh, uh, 
Is there any way I can fight this ticket? I got, I, I, I passed the school bus right as it put the stop sign out. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I didn't see it. I was in a rush for work, and it's like, it's not like the school bus is just like, surprise, stop sign. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, like, dude, it, slows it slows down. down. The yellow lights yep. start. And then it slowly it, pulls yeah, out. It doesn't just, <laughs> yeah. I fucking, saw, I fucking saw just the other day, it wasn't stopping, but it was like just coming off of a highway where there's two lanes, and then it's like, you know, one ends. And it's relatively quickly, but it's like real, you know, you get off and it's like 30 miles an hour. So it's yeah. real slow. And you have plenty of time. Somebody just goes behind somebody. So it's me, a car in front of me, and then a fucking school bus next to us. And the light's only, you know, a thousand feet in front of us. And this guy floors it to get like, like cut off the school bus and get in front of it before the lane. Right. Where it converges. Like merges. And I'm just like. What? Like, ah, no time. Still hits the red light. The school bus turns left, and then I'm sitting behind the yeah. guy. But I'm just like, for a school bus, like, uh, like on, not even like safety wise. I'm thinking like, it's, do you know like how many like what a ticket you could have just gotten? Yeah. For yeah. just like any sort of any sort of nonsense around a school bus is like ticket and points on your license. Yeah. And this guy's like, I'm in. <laughs> I was like, I watched it going, oh my god, I gotta get to the red light. Ah. Texas drivers are a different breed for me. I'm not used to it. Most of them pull off they're some pretty different. Yeah, they're we're, dumb we're, shit. Some real oh, yeah, dumb yeah. shit. But they're also they're nervous wrecks sometimes too. Well, and everyone here drives with their high beams on. I hate it. Why do they do that? Everyone drives with their fucking people, high beams people on. People drive with their high beams on, which makes it's insane. It doesn't. Um, make sense. And also, and, and I mean, on you can you complain about drivers everywhere. It's everywhere. But I will say, in my experience, what's particularly bad here. Is people just not using their blinkers? It's crazy. Oh mm -hmm. Like I don't understand it. Like, like where I grew up, if you didn't do it, you're an asshole. Mm -hmm. And here, I feel like is it not taught? Like people are just like, well, why would I? I don't yeah. need to. You're still no. an asshole. I'm, just, yeah, you know, you, 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 you are. But I feel like it's almost to the point where people here don't know. I'm like, do you not know? Yeah. And also, like a, a big thing too is like there's a lot of like one lane roads, like yeah. each way, mm -hmm. and everybody just goes over it. Like I know, like I know there's like passing lanes that you can do, right? Sure. But it's not passing lanes, it's double yellows. And people just swerve yeah. around people turning all the time, even if another car is coming, another car slams on the brakes and they just go and no care. Dude, and it's not that casual, like, oh, I'm going to drift over, like, come up and then no. drift it's back. A it's a, yeah. <laughs> you know, like. See, uh, that's the thing for me with the blinkers, and I know it's why people don't use them. I'm used to people, like, like darting, and, you know, they're not going to use their blinkers. It's when you see someone, like, slowly, like, normally change lanes without a blinker. And I'm just like, just, just, just. The just, other one that gets me is when they, very slowly break, come almost to a full stop, and then turn the blinker on. Right. It's like, what, what I mean, was, let me know. What was the point let me know, but not three turns. Yeah, it's early. like you st they're starting the turn <laughs> and they turn their blinker on. Like, what was the point of that? Oh yeah, I know you're turning. Yeah. I can. You're doing it already. <laughs> you ever think it's an accident? They're spinning the wheel and just <laughs> yeah. hit it on the way around. I'm like, oh, I forgot about that thing. Yeah. <laughs> it existed. I hit that thing. All I the guess time. that's the thing with me when I, when I honestly say, like, to me, that's there's a lot of like people just being bad drivers or bad decision making or whatever. The blinker thing to me, I just don't get because it was programmed. Like, it's yeah. like I, I don't think about it. Like, like I've had times before outside of a car being like, a right turn is wait. wait and I've never had that in the car. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you do that. Yeah. You just, you know, it's it's reflex. And I can't imagine driving without being reflex because then it's like, oh, well, then I would never use it if I like forgot. Mm -hmm. You know, it's why I use it in neighborhoods where you're going 20 miles an hour. And even like I'll do it on a fucking, you know, you're in a neighborhood and it's like only a right turn. And I'll instinctively hit it. And mm -hmm. it's like, okay, yeah, I don't need to, but what's the alternative? Using it when you don't need it, like as opposed to never using it on the highway. <laughs> I think I'll use it in the neighborhood. Like, again, I don't even. It's like wearing a seatbelt. When people actually go like, "Oh," I'm like, what? "Are you an idiot?" Yeah, like, do you put it on? First of all, my uncle still does that. That's insane. Uh, dude, it's it's one blows, of those it blows me away. It's like someone going like, "I'm on breathe." <gasps> like I just don't. It's a seatbelt. I don't even. What? Yeah. What? He's like, it's such a hassle. What? <laughs> what are you talking <laughs> about, dude? There's so many more things people choose to do that are more of a hassle that mm -hmm. don't save your life. You know, I just I don't even. There's, there's literally no doubt. That, that's that's the there's thing I, that, that gets to me. Isn't it going to be like, like maybe my kid, but an adult, I wouldn't be like, no, no, let me explain it to you. I would just go, what are you a fucking, what are you an asshole? Yeah. I don't, I don't need to sit here and explain like, no, 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 let me go through the chart to show you why. I'm just like, it's fucking seep. Who cares, man? Did you guys ever put the the, the top part of the belt behind you when you were younger? I mean, probably as a kid, I'm sure. I used to do that until I was like, like 20. <laughs> well, because it was just habit. Why did you say when you were a kid? Yeah. No, no, no. When it was just it was just habit. And yeah, then a few years like, ago, I was like, 
was like, oh, why, was it, why was it habit? I don't, I don't know. I feel like grew up doing it. I just right, grew up I, doing it. I feel like if you, were, if you were doing it, you weren't in properly because like. Yeah, it's like it's not. You can't do its full job. Wow. Right, like like that's why child seats well, exist. And here's because the thing is, if the thing isn't across you, then you can't use it. I bet your mind is going to be detached. I had a really bad accident when I was 17, where I had the seatbelt properly. And you would think oh, that after oh, that, so Joe, Joe, thought, would think Joe, had, a bru- he, Joe had a bruise and thought, never again. <laughs> you, you, My chest. you would think after that, it would just be instinct to always leave. But sometimes I would do it without thinking. Like, put it behind me when I was, like, a passenger or, like, just sit in the back seat and just put it behind me. And I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm going to die. <laughs> yeah, it's, I, I'll be honest, Joe, why wear it at that point? Like, I'm going to put it on. Well, at least, at least, at least you would only have seat. No, you can no, still I, stay I'm in the seat. I'll be honest, there's no at least. I, it's, you're not doing it. His lower half would be fine. It's fucking idiotic. Wear it or don't wear it. Woo, I think mean, what you would say is at least you're not going to get tossed out of the car and rolled over. But even yeah, then, I, I don't know that you don't know that. You might slip. But what the hell is the efficiency of a seatbelt half used? I only did it as a passenger. I don't know why it was like just yeah, oh, I'm driving. I, I need the extra uh, guys, shoulder. Screw around. <laughs> I trust you implicitly. Shh, put it behind your back. When I was a kid two uh, years It ago. might be endearing, you know, to the drivers. I trust you. If I was a passenger, it would just, you know, it would just make easier to like get out and ready to run if I need to. In chat, faith in you. Uh, CPL 28 says, Joe 100% did it yesterday. Shut your mouth. <laughs> I didn't yeah, do that. He also he also knocked a couple years off. Yeah. Like he probably was like when you were like oh, 23, I'll 20. Mm. Like no you know whatever number he said, yeah, he probably yeah, yeah. Took oh. off. And the guy's only 26. So it was probably like three years ago. It was yeah, yeah, it was yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph County. You, can you stop? <laughs> I mean you started it though. But stop. Like, hey, does anyone know. else ever put their seatbelt on and then immediately render it useless? <laughs> I do. <laughs> it's not, look, it, I, would, I would say it's about 75% less useful when it's like that. But at least, like I said, you stay in the seat. If you get into a crash, at least you're not, like, rolling around the car. And I, again, just I just don't like live this. in a scenario where you're actually... <laughs> You're actually getting to the point where I could be in an accident, but you're still not over wearing a seatbelt proper. You know what I mean? Like, I expect this kind of behavior from someone that goes, I'll never get into an accident. Because yeah. then it doesn't matter. But, but, he's go- but he's going, well, when I get into the accident, it'll still be sort of okay. Yeah. It's like, right. And but, he had a, he but imagine had experience of being yeah, in one. But now imagine that scenario if you were just wearing the seatbelt. Why would you ever choose I the do, first one? I don't, I don't know no why sense. I used to do it. It, it just makes like, no sense. I used to just... It, it's wild, do it now, it's right? wild to me to think back, like you talk about, like trying to explain to an adult to use a seatbelt. Like, I remember being a kid and it was like, there were TV commercials with the crash test dummies that were like, don't be a oh, dummy, yeah, wear yeah. your seatbelt. Like, get mangled. Do we need that? Yeah. Do we need, like, spokespeople telling people, wear your seatbelt? Here's the other thing about those crash dummies. They look fun. Let's make a show. <laughs> I mean, they're not, they're, they, they weren't, like, getting their heads ripped off in blood. Yeah, let's make a show. That, they go, woo! <laughs> like... Remember the crash dummies in, uh, yeah. was it um, Tommy Boy? Wee! <laughs> when they were at the brake factory at the oh. end. Oh, yeah. Wee! Did they make a cartoon show out of that? It was like a family it was something. of crash it test was something. dummies? Yeah, that was something. In the 90s? That was, that was they, a thing. Yeah, uh-huh. they were like, oh, we want to show how safe kids can be. Or and it, be. it was like something dummies. They, they, there was also a band, Crash Test Dummies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah they weren't in an accident, though. <laughs> they only wore their seatbelt halfway. Yeah. <laughs> it ended tragically. You got to, if you're going to do a PSA about, like, don't. <laughs> Get mangled. You got to show something getting mangled. Yep. I think you they you have to show a real dummies. situation. I think yeah. they save that for when you get in trouble and they make you go to like. That's true. No, yeah. they save that yeah. for when it happens to you. I also think that's. What? Is that what no, happened no. to you? <laughs> I think they have more of that shit in the UK too. Uh, oh, it's a, brutal. It's br- too. Yeah, yeah, just like, hey, fucking around and driving a car, you just splattered those kids. It's like buying cigarettes Christ, in Australia too. or in Europe. Where it's like, I mean, shit, they, get they, the message across. They, they, the cigarette packages, the cartons are printed with cancer, like oh, actual photos God. of lung cancer on them. And it's like, hey, you buy this and use this. That's what's going to happen to you. That's so brutal. Yeah, it's uh, it's gross. And also they keep it like in Australia anyway, they keep it behind like, like almost like a medicine cabinet kind of thing where you can't see them. You have to know specifically what you want. Oh, really? And they go open the closed case and then grab it. Not that I'm a smoker, just I was very curious about it because it's like, you're that's, right, they are. The you're obsessed you with here. Australia, not I'm, cigarettes. I'm, I'm, I'm obsessed with <laughs> when other countries have nationalized health care. Uh-huh. And, oh, like, and it costs like? the country. But there's not that many of them, right? Right, no. to, to take care of the people. Like, oh, how do you dissuade people from uh, from doing these harmful Most actions? The world, yeah. Yeah. Not that like, yeah, right, Joe. Most you're, of the world is like the U.S., come on. Yeah. You're, mm. Here it's like, smoke them if you got them. Wear your seatbelt halfway. 
probably both at the same time. <laughs> well, the, the top part of the seatbelt was getting in the way of my cigarette. <laughs> uh. You got a lot of podcasts going on, Gus. Okay. Here, a, podcast. Besides RTB, but like, you know, we got the, we got the general, you know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. like the, I don't know, like the RT podcast, just whatever. And then we got the specifics, you know, same thing for off topic. Then mm -hmm. you got your, you got your black box down and mm -hmm. Anma and you get your red webs and all that. Oh my God, you're on so many. And you're on a lot. Yeah, I think there's four I do regularly every <laughs> Stinky week. Dragon. RTP, right. Stinky Dragon, Anma and black box down. And I got an. Another one I want to do soon. Ooh. Fingers crossed. Whoa. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. My babies. <laughs> See, they are. See, he says stuff like that, though. Well, what? Well, as far as I know, I send him the audio. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the heck. As far as I know, he's telling the truth. It's like, yeah, Nick, I don't know when he sleeps. He's always eating cheeseburgers and editing audio. Yeah. I have a kid. I don't sleep anyway. I'll just edit. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's, it's, it's a lot. I, I, I can spend a lot of time talking. I like doing the themed podcasts more because like then you have a script it's like we know what we're talking about i feel like when you do like off topic or rtp it's like oh we're just going to kind of like mm -hmm. see where it goes i feel like it's a lot more mm -hmm. sometimes everybody's like firing sometimes you get people like joe <laughs> he was in a really bad accident a few yeah. years ago <laughs> it changed the way he uh What's up? he operates i don't know how to respond to this off topic is sponsored by BetterHelp online therapy Getting to know ourselves is a lifelong process, especially since we're always growing and changing. And for a lot of folks, going to therapy can help deepen awareness and understanding of themselves. Because sometimes it's hard to know what we want or why we react a certain way sometimes, uh, but it can really help to talk through our thoughts and emotions during those moments to learn more about what's going on. If that sounds good to you, maybe you should consider trying therapy to get that unbiased feedback and support. And BetterHelp can connect you with a licensed therapist who can take you on that self-discovery journey. BetterHelp is entirely online and designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. You just fill out a questionnaire, and then BetterHelp uses that to match you with a licensed therapist. And if that first person isn't the right match for you, you can switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. It's all part of the process. Discover your potential and start your self-discovery process with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash off topic today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash off topic. Hello and hi to everyone. We wanted to take this moment to thank you for watching me. Everything I make is for you and I appreciate most of the support you give me. But if you want to support me even more, and the channel, I guess, and whatever, and help me and other people keep creating amazing, wonderful content, then consider becoming a first member. Wow. By becoming a first member, you'll not only be supporting Off Topic, which is me, but you'll also get access to the Off Topic Post Show, a library of Rooster Teeth original series featuring myself, they actually wrote that one, and my so-called friends, and a premium RSS feed to access all of our podcasts for ad-free listening. That's right, you don't have to look at us, just listen. Okay, you can check out some of the Achievement Hunters' other podcasts like Face Jam, Fuck Face, Red Web, without having that first impression interrupted by ads. Except the Face Jam ads are really good, so you might want to listen to that one off the RSS feed. I know it kind of goes against paying for it, but I'm just saying, there's lore in there. Look, there's even more awesome Jeff, Gavin, Trevor, Alfredo content just one click away, just one click away. Unless it's a phone, then it's a tap. There's so much more content over on roosterteeth.com available just for first members. So head on over there and check it out. Thanks again for supporting us. Unless I guess you haven't yet, then you know what? Hey, I'll hold judgment. You do, better do it though. Your support goes a long way and lets us and me continue making content that I like to make. Even when other people say, stop, don't do that. Head to roosterteeth.com to start your free trial now. Now, back to more me. Oh, you're doing, oh, no, okay. you're doing okay. a great job. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like how, like, honestly, <laughs> Joe just hanging out and Joe's going, Honestly, there's nothing. a lot, of, like, it, it, for real, though, like, sometimes when I'm on, like, podcasts, there's people talking about stuff that, like, I've never seen or heard about, and so right. I just want to listen. No, what you should do is no you should jump in and start just making, like, implications. <laughs> about and, how to and, make yeah, it 75% uh, exactly. less efficient. Just right. like you should start, well, you, the next time Gus starts talking about Anma, you start giving him suggestions yeah. about it. Oh, Even okay. if you never listened to it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, you know what you should do? We, we, That's what people want. Jeff, oh, okay. Jeff and I have talked about having Joe on Anma at some time. Oh, yeah? We made, we made, we Oh, yeah, they it. did ask, hey, hey do you, you want to be on a podcast about Austin? I'm like, sure. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and and they like, take him to Elgin. <laughs> 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 
still just keep going. Wow, this is awesome. Uh -huh. <laughs> Only 37 minutes away. It's <laughs> a, a lot of sausage. <laughs> Imagine someone Man. tuning in for that. Like someone has just started watching. Like, yeah. What's, what's so I, funny about Elgin? I do want some sausage now, though. Oh, it does sound good. It's good. But yeah, here's the here's slammer. A, uh, dude, the the problem I've had specifically at that place with the slammer is not going for the slammer and then throwing it in. It's not. Oh, it's not yeah. like yeah. I'll get whatever I want. Give me my pounds of brisket. Give me my ribs. Throw in two slammers. <laughs> That's what I did the first time I ate it. <laughs> fucking meals, man. The first time I got a slammer was like that. Like I ordered my entire meal. I was like, oh, and a slammer. How, how big what is it? Like, no, it's, like this? It's, 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 it's fat. It's fat as fuck. <laughs> it's like a fist. It's probably like a fist, but but more sausage shape, right? Just so like stretch it out a tiny bit. Uh, it's pretty chodely. It's yes. Pretty chodely. Yeah. yeah, it's a little chodely. Okay. Um, it's small, but it's fucking thick. It gets the job done. It gets the job done. Yeah, it's filled with hot. No, that's, you know, that's a lot of people say about it. Cheese them. and then wrapped in thick ass bacon. I'm satisfied. Yeah, but you're satisfied about everything. Well, that's what like the, that. What the fuck? That's it right there. That's Joe, I'll take you to get slammed. I don't know if I want to get yeah, slammed. Yeah, you want to get slammed. That's ridiculous. It no, it's not. They're good. Next episode of what? This. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's ridiculous. There's a lot of episodes. You know, that's true. Just making sure we oh, know we're on the same page. Spitting silly. Let's talk to Eric. <laughs> we get it for free. That's like a turducken. It's like a turducken like turduc turduc of, uh, of jalapeno poppers. Jeez, it's so good. Sorry, I just showed him the slammer. No, no, I his got life, it. His life will be forever changed. Mark the time: three forty-seven p.m., uh, March 9th. <laughs> I like without what I like about Austin, Austin and and you know Elgin and kind of like the the close areas for for like barbecue. If you like barbecue, which I do, is how like good certain places have certain things. Without being like a snob, right? Mm -hmm. Like, like when I say, you know, oh, go to this place with barbecue or that, it's just because I went there. It's I don't give a shit. It's like here's the tourist, but here's the best or whatever. Like, but like to me in my head, when you mention Southside, like, oh, I know what that is because I go there. Mm -hmm. I go there if I want sausage or ribs. Mm -hmm. I'll eat the brisket, but I don't go for the brisket. Yeah. I go for the sausage and ribs. I like the the brisket more at Rudy's. But yeah. if I really want brisket, I'll go to Terry Black's, mm -hmm. right? It's like, but then you're gonna wait a little longer in line. And I just love that. It's, they're just like. They're good enough. You can do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, there's a legitimate reason to go to all these different places and not one like this is the best one, or you have to go really far to yeah. get this I, one. You can it, find something. You can literally go like, okay, I drive. A, I'll drive a little bit. I don't drive that far. I want brisket. It doesn't be the best, but yeah. it can't be from this place. You know what I've been fucking <laughs> with lately? The baked potato at Rudy's. Hell, oh, yeah. I, I never mess with that. I've never. I, 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 it's a recent discovery. You know what it is too? Excellent. I think so for me good. because I grew up without barbecue in the. This sense, mm -hmm. right? Barbecue to me was hot dogs and hamburgers, like oh, a yeah. barbecue. We're having a barbecue right. this weekend. I didn't, so that, I don't think I ever had brisket before I moved here. Um, but, so I grew up, it was like steak. That was the big meat if you mm -hmm. had like a steak dinner. So it was steak and baked potato. And I grew up on that shit and I love it. But like my first, you know, five, 10 years in Texas is very much like, I'm going to absorb everything I didn't have. And I just... I said no to the baked potato because mm. I had it. But you know what? I think it's time to come back. It's, 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 is it like a build it up? Yeah. yeah. It, oh, yeah. It's, okay. it's like a, they, they, it's, it's actually a smoked potato. And then uh, you can get whatever meat you want put on top of it. So it's like, I'll get a smoked potato with brisket. And then they put all the regular shit on it, like mm. butter, cheese. Again, it's another thing, though, when you yeah. think, yeah. When you think oh. baked potato, which if you get a whole baked potato, that's still a big side. It's a whole fucking potato. Oh, yeah. You imagine you've got at least butter and sour cream. Mm -hmm. And then maybe whatever. What you're describing, that's your meal. Yeah. Like the, the, the baked potato is like a $15, $20 food item, whatever. Yeah. But like that's, you don't get that as a side. Right. It's, it's, that's why, it's I've, never, that's why I've never gotten it. Because yeah, I always I, want the sandwich. I think I, walked, oh, I think I walked in once and they had like the sign that was like, try our smoked potato. It's like, I've been coming to Rudy's for decades. I've never had a potato. It was like, holy shit, I'm never eating anything else. Oh my God. <laughs> All so right. fucking good. I'm, next Rudy's, I'm doing potato. You were awakened. And yeah. we're going to get you a slammer. I don't want a slammer. <laughs> okay, you're gonna get I looked at it and it, I, to me, it doesn't look very appetizing. Well, you're wrong. I want so. a slammer. You're going to get one. Okay. Yeah, he's going to get one. But the whole outside is bacon, correct? That's a lot of bacon wrapped. from what you well, just showed me. It's yeah. A, it's, it's, fucking, just wrapped. It's, okay. it's just wrapped. It's just wrapped around the sausage. It's just wrapped. And the jalapeno and the cheese. It's so good. You're in Texas. It really, and, and here's the other thing too. Sometimes, sometimes a place does all that shit, and if all of it isn't great, it doesn't work. Like even if the sauce is really good, but the bacon's okay, the bacon fucks it up. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's all good on the slammer. It is. Like every bite is. Mm. I, I usually like to cut mine up in a little, Ooh. like slices. There's a. 
there's a place if you want to go uh, for barbecue that's not uh, not good for brisket, but like good for everything else. They have like this jalapeno cheese sausage, and they actually have tater tot casserole and things like that. It's called Opie's, and it's west on 71 if you're heading out to Marble Falls, and it is just like. We, we do this thing with my friends from San Antonio. We'll do like a thing called a meat meet and we'll meet up to eat. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> very, no, we got it. It's, yeah. Very, it's, oh, yeah, yeah. it's very clever, it's, it's right? It's not that yeah. clever of a name. We figured I'm it out. Sure. I'm pretty sure. Very sure. We decoded it. You get Chris it. heard it. Yeah. He loves it. Opie. Uh -oh. I'm looking at it. <laughs> He's on his way out there right now. Uh, okay, so we'll yeah. go out there and meet at those places. Yeah, that yeah. place is excellent. I love that. Kind of, That's the other thing, too. I forgot about what goes hand in hand with, with barbecue in like the Southwest is dessert. That's mm. another thing. Oh, of yeah. like of like pies and banana pudding. Banana pudding, like, all favorite. that shit. Oh, they have the so con cobbler. That, I mean, so that's another oh, thing dude. too. Where some places it's like, oh, this barbecue that. place, barbecue fucking sucks. But the ice cream, you know, like there are places <laughs> like that. Yeah. The, uh, the oh. blackberry cobbler at Salt Lake is like oh, that. Oh yeah. Where it's like the blackberry cobbler. Like I'm not a big blackberry cobbler fan, but the one there at Salt Lake, like, that is fucking awesome. I will drive out to the fucking driftwood to go to Salt Lake to eat that co that cobbler. It's far. I discovered Andy's recently. Andy's frozen custard. Uh, oh, okay. It's pretty good. I've never been there. Is that like where's that at? bottom tier? I don't know. I, have, no, I, I don't. Up. I don't have a frozen. I've frozen custard tier. I couldn't tell you. There's one in uh, Pflugerville. Yeah, barbecue in Pflugerville. Custard. Well, because you talked about no, he said cream. concrete. Yeah. Or he said something yeah. concrete or yeah. something. Well, Did you say concrete? There's no, you, concrete. he said ice cream. Ice cream. The, I was thinking of the concrete, which is ice cream. Yeah. Gotcha. At, oh, okay. it's frozen custard. It's delicious. Right. 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 Is that only a Texas thing? No. But is it custard's a Midwest? Yeah. Custard was also in the East Coast. Was it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. well, custard, custard went hand in hand. You know, it was big uh, Italian ice. And okay. Italian, like primo Italian ice places would also sell custard. I think I Italian think ice would be in the East Coast. That might have both, yeah. I'm not yeah, sure. like, in, like I, I was in Colorado and there's a lot of custard places there, but like the custard here is just 10 times better. I don't know. Ooh, okay. But I guess I'm, is it, you're saying custard at custard place or custard at a barbecue place. Custard at a custard place. That's see. That's why I was, <laughs> he fully jumped ship. I just like I, I brought, man, the thing is I, I brought up ice cream, cream but it was, I was, I was talking you, about it's your chance. I was Go. talking about desserts I, at barbecue, and then I'm like, there's something. Wrong. I'm like, we were just talking about an ice cream. I, I thought I was like, I, I, I thought, thought Andy's was just a Texas thing. <laughs> no, that's fine. I, I don't think I've ever even heard of it. I, I think oh. I think I've seen an ad for it. I've never been there. Uh, I always it confuse up. it with uh, the other one, Freddy's, because Freddy's has uh, like burgers and stuff like yeah. that too, and Andy's only has the custard and ice cream. Mm. Fuck, now I want barbecue and custard. Let's go. <laughs> Andy's frozen. But they're two different places. What? There's no barbecue <laughs> custard place. We got two cars. Don't ride with Joe. There's one not. Uh, I'll go get the custard. Don't you tell okay. me it's 37 minutes away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're all kind of far. <laughs> no, it's 25. The close one's what? Off of Parmer? Parmer metric? Oh, yep. Dude, my, my other yeah. favorite thing, that's, and, that's a little and far. Nick, a little you'll far. be much better at this because oh, you you know, live here and <clears throat> no places. My other favorite thing about Face Jam is going to places that we've already been to, and since the last time we went there, they're closed. Oh, dude. Uh, so many places. You'd be, <laughs> like, you'd be impressed at how many. It's like, the one we went to closed? Yeah, shut down. So it's like, it's like we go through and we kill them off. The best, the best ones are, though, when we're in the drive-thru and we're like, I don't think anyone's in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's There's just no like signage. A building. Nothing, but we, yeah. we just went, yeah, like you said, we just went to go to KFC, uh, or we just uh, did an episode. And uh, I wonder what it is. And uh, mm. fucking... <laughs> and we're like, Eric's like, no, no, don't go to that one. It was closed, remember? We went there last time, it's closed. And you're like, what? <laughs> but it's like, it's still on the fucking GPS. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, open now. I don't think so. No. The worst is when you go to like a place that doesn't have enough employees. Employees, uh, like I went to Little Caesars a few weeks ago, and it's like, there's one dude working oh. there. So he's locked the door because he can't possibly take care of everyone. And he's like taking the orders, making everything and bringing it out. And like, He's dealing with people in the drive-thru, having them go around and park, and then like running out of the store with people's pizzas to give it to them and like running back in to continue the process of like, whatever they're paying that dude, it's not nearly enough. Oh, and I'm that sure they're, yeah. That is a one-man store. Like he's doing everything in there. And he's like, super sorry, it took a while. I'm just really busy. Like, no, no right. I can and, see, get it. I can yeah. see and how I'm, busy you are. And I'm sure, maybe, maybe not most people, but I'm sure other people are still assholes. Oh, yeah. They're, oh, yeah. What's yeah. taking so long? Yeah. Yeah. I opened my order 15 minutes ago. You guys said fast and ready, <laughs> yeah. hot and ready. Well, I mean, that's why you get a hot and ready, right? <laughs> Just get hot and ready. Hot and shut up. Uh, the best, though, is like when you're in a drive-thru that is totally cut off. So it's like you're following a certain curb line that goes like this. Mm -hmm. So there's no way to get out once right. you're in line. Right. Uh, so we went to Taco Cabana once for something. And we're like, oh, we're going to get this thing. Eric's all excited. And then in the drive-thru, someone had written in highlighter <laughs> and like pasted it. But only the top, so it was like flapping in the wind. Oh yeah, we're oh. like, what does that say? What does it say? Oh. What's the sign? What does it, what say? it say? We're all looking at it like we don't know. Are they out of something? We're out of the burrito, whatever. And we're all like, no! And then you turn you're, around and you're, you're stuck. Yeah, you're stuck. So it's like, well, I guess we're getting Taco Cabana anyway. 
That's what they do. That's how they get you. Oh, yeah, exactly. It's also why we very early on went, okay, we always go get the food before we, like, we go get it together because, man, this stuff could just fill half the episode <laughs> when we get stuck in the car. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, dude, we've said this before where sometimes we're like, people got to think we're making it up. Sometimes yeah. it's like, it's like nine out of ten times that we walk into a store, something crazy is going to happen when we're getting the food. Like, it's either with the person we're speaking to or around us. It was like one of the very first episodes. If not, it was the very first episode. We did the, was it was it Popeye's? Some no, kind Popeyes. of chicken. Might have been two. And we were literally walking into the building, and the guy, like, in the parking lot stopped us. And he's like, hey, man, you want to buy it? Or, no, he was driving out of the drive through Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's like, hey, I'll sell you some of the chicken. <laughs> what? what? That he just sandwiches. bought. <laughs> and he's just like, hey, you want some of the chicken sandwiches? I can sell you. He's like, I'll sell you some of them because it was like the thing right then was like they had them and then people were going crazy so they oh, went out of stock so then yeah. they just brought them back right so they were available again but the guy like made a point to stop and talk to us in the parking lot and we're like all right well we got to go to the store every time now yeah and again either it's a customer or it's just somebody you the walk waitress, in yeah. and the person they go oh they're locked in that's like we got a comedian <laughs> over here we got somebody going here just sign there whoops that's a straw here's a pen <laughs> you know you go whoop Oh, he's trying his new set. Do you want to see? My and then new we all. Toy? And then the best part is because Eric has to do it. Like Eric is always the one that like pays for it, orders and all that. We just slowly step away and just watch him. And he's like, "Yes, that's fine. Yes, you can see him. That's getting fine. It. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you very much." There's a thing that Eric does where he he goes completely silent, and then it's just he gets quiet he and gets fast. Quiet. Yeah, and like not flustered, but like. And like I don't know if it's him. Like his three energy. of us are talking, and and like he's not mad at the people here. It'll be like. But there's also like a weird energy around him where it's like oh, I'm just, somehow just getting ready for the show away from ready. him than I was. <laughs> and it's like, is that me or is that him mentally pushing us all yeah. away from him? I don't know, but I walk over to you and I go, Why are you pissing him off? <laughs> uh, and I, I think sometimes it is. Well, me. sometimes it is him because because the best part about that is it's usually something else because as with everyone, he's got like other shit. It's like some other crap while we're going to yeah. get the food yeah, yeah, and it's like good. a meeting or whatever. So I get it, and, you know. Like, you know, he's like, I'm just trying to do this thing, whatever. And then we're doing whatever, and and then and then Jordan will go, mm. oh look at that, Nick, and it'll be like a special strawberry milkshake, and we'll go, ooh, maybe we get the milkshake, and I was like, we're not getting milkshakes, I'm not getting the milkshake, don't talk to me about the milkshake. <laughs> but then Michael's like. I don't know. It depends yeah. how annoyed yeah, he yeah. is right. and how much I have to deal with Eric. Where like sometimes I'll just say nothing and he'll order it and I'll go, and can we get this guy one milkshake? I always do it obnoxiously too. <laughs> like where I'll go, he's been on good behavior. Get him a milkshake. Make it happen. Make it happen. You got a milkshake. He's got a tongue. There, there are other days <laughs> where we walk where we walk yeah. out and I go, yeah, I wasn't gonna do it. <laughs> it didn't look like it was a good it time a for good me day. to get you a milkshake. No. I don't think you would have been happy about it. <laughs> a few weeks ago, we were recording Anima at. Uh, the little trailer park of, of um, with food tra trailers over here in Mueller. <laughs> and we're getting towards the end of the episode, and this dude walked up to us and was like, hey, my brother says you guys look cool. You want to buy some weed? <laughs> that's cool. I cut, I cut that that's how the they find new customers. <laughs> you guys, Those guys yeah. look pretty cool. <laughs> I cut awesome. that from the episode. I should have left it. <laughs> that's fucking awesome. We're just, just laughing Yeah, just blur it. his face out and man, just leave it in. <laughs> I had, um, and I think I've told this before, I had this, and that, even that, like, that's crazy, but it's like, eh, whatever. They, like, what are the odds you're going to be like, you're busted! You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> gotcha. it's, it's crazy. It's not that crazy, because it's a guy just walked up to you and said it. What's fucking crazy is this was a couple years ago, maybe, it couldn't have been more than three or four years ago. Uh, it was a fast food place. I think it was Taco Bell. It was like a McDonald's or Taco Bell, but I think it was Taco Bell. Fucking ordered food. I'm in the drive-thru. Pay. Go to the window. Pay. The guy who, like, was working the window, I paid him. He gave me my card. He left. Another employee walked over. But an employee wearing whatever. And he's like, hey, man, am I some weed? And I went, no, I'm good. And he's like, okay. I'm like, you're at work. You're at the drive-thru. Dude, what a great go to where the customer is. Yes, like, exactly. That's brilliant. And I'm just, I, I just went, I went, I'm good, man. He's scout for shit. He's like, <laughs> build up a new client. I'm just telling you. I just yeah. went, brilliant. I just went, there's no way that guy. He bought the like, uniform on eBay. <laughs> 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 There's no he's going to work here for a day. He walks like, walk outside, like, throw I, in the trash, and leave. No, he gives the manager a call. and started laughing, you like your receipt, dude. sir? He slips him a bag of weed. Here's your receipt. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to think of we had extra green ink in the printer. <laughs> 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 if you oh, want to think if he was, like, the one running the drive-thru and is, like, you know, the code is, like, 
Oh. And and I want a I want a written receipt with that. Yeah. Right, right, right. Like, no, oh, it was oh, just. No, it's just, it's just, just a, uh, I'll take a number twelve hold of lettuce. <laughs> uh, it was some um, you know on the side. whatever nineteen yeah. twenty year old kid. But I'm just like fuck. He was like, well, weed? No, all right. He shot a shot. And I'm just like, surely that can't. Like, like again, the guy walking up to you in the park is like, what are the odds? You specifically. Yeah, I'm can, not cool. Can only, but also even if you were just like, that's illegal or whatever. I don't know. Who cares? Yeah. The guy go, oh. Uh, just kidding. Yeah. If if you if you're in the drive-through at Taco Bell, someone goes, "You go buy weed," and you go, "I'm a cop." What do you do? <laughs> you're fired, right? Even if you can do, you just walk in, and you go, "That guy just asked me if I wanted to buy weed," and you're fired. Like I just don't understand. Because yeah. the, working the Taco Bell it's job is not crazy. his job, I, right? I, I the mean, guy's a drug dealer. He's just maybe maybe, as a guy maybe, so maybe he just the front. maybe he, oh, all yeah. he needs is one day at each fast food place. Oh. Work one day at McDonald's. Work one day at Taco Bell. <laughs> or just go to the different Taco Bells. You don't think they don't talk to each other? Just trying to find a better area. You ever think about that? Like the location? I didn't think much about it at all. I, I just I declined. I just love. <laughs> I didn't want to get entrapped. Mm. <laughs> what if y'all had been doing like a live radio show? <laughs> You're on the microphones like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah like, buy some- hey, sit down, let's talk. <laughs> yeah. Hey, join us. Yeah. You're on the. Tell media. us your story. How long we, you lived uh, last? <laughs> we didn't have that, but we had when we did the Face Jam road trip oh. uh, in the oh. van. We kept like having to stop and do like on site like podcasts. Mm-hmm. Dude, the fucking people that almost would like walk over. Because this is also, you know, it's like a camera. And yeah. so I was like, there's a movie going on. <laughs> yeah. And, and this is like out there in Texas. We were in West Texas. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So it's just like someone has a, a, an iPhone and they're excited. So this is like, I have a little say. Everyone's like, is this a movie? It's like three people sitting on a, like on the ground Watching. next to a van. No, that's like oh. us. And they're like, is this a movie? Yeah, it's the next Marvel movie. We're, we're, <laughs> eating, we're eating the steak from that shitty restaurant right there behind us. We're talking, it's going to be all special effects. <laughs> the crazy thing is we also had a bunch I'm of- I'm Chris Evans. <laughs> we had stickers and magnets that were on the car that said Face Jam and things like that all over on the, on the vans. And we pulled into a gas station in some place between here and Amarillo. Which is a huge distance, that's, but it that's, is. That's just the state of Texas. It is wet, but it is West Texas. It is, it, not to say Hicksville, but it was a bit, a bit of Hicksville. Middle did, though. Uh, and so we got out of the car and we were going in getting sodas or whatever and coming back out. They were like, is that one of them automobiles? <laughs> <laughs> one, of, one of them came, one of them came, I'm, I'm kind of the mayor in this town. Kind and he's of? Like, Are, yeah, he was like, I'm, he said he was oh, the. Right. I remember Like, that. he was the outreach person for the town, he said. He's like, I'm the one who talks to people when they come through. He was just like, he's like the mover and the shaker. Yeah, that's what, yeah. You know, if something's going, you want to go through me. So, are you shooting out here today? Oh, God. And we were just, we got it. But then the door was locked, so I was trying to get back in the car. And, I, and he's like, anyway. What are you out here for? Mm. And I'm just like pulling on the head. <laughs> Please open the door, guys. Like, that, guy, that guy was not about to let you go. No, he was, like, the wheels dude. needed to be greased. The other, the other, the other thing that was great is anytime we would be doing a thing out in public, there's the cameras and stuff. And then again, being in West Texas, this guy playing the giant monkey mask. <laughs> and it would just be like, he'd be like, don't send me in there alone, guys. Don't send me in there alone. Like, no, like I'm, that's, there, that's Rocket there, Raccoon. <laughs> you know, like Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was, there was, there was, there was, there there was yeah, yeah. one part, I don't even remember how we got into it, but we kept calling you Mr. Beast or Jordan Mr. Beast. The Jordan was Mr. Beast. <laughs> it was like oh. one of those kids that school trip We were at there. Cadillac Ranch in Amarillo. Oh my God, and there was a class trip there. And, and they came out to Cadillac Ranch to huff the fucking fumes, dude. It's like, what? oh yeah, it's like it's they like give you, you know, like paint. the video it's games when you're walking through poison sections. Yeah. Like, that's what the Cadillac Ranch is. It's, it's a bunch of cars windy. in the fucking ground in the mud, and it's a tourist. Spot. You'd recognize it if you saw it. It's yeah, been like what? and people are out there with those those uh, those spray cans, like. There's just like there's, if there's nothing to see. It's a bunch of cars sticking in dirt, and it's all mud. And then right next to it, where it would be like a food truck, is a guy that sells spray paint cans, and he goes, "Want to tag it?" Oh, oh <laughs> you've probably seen that. I've yeah. seen it. Uh, right, so we went there. So it fucking so sucked. All the kids see Jordan coming up and they're like, oh, it's Mr. Beast. And his friend, because I was wearing the mask at the time, he's like, and he has a mom. What is this? Somebody made it, some kind of comment and we had heard it and we just kept yelling, it's Mr. It, Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast is here. <laughs> Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast and his friend is here. <laughs> Mr. Beast and his monkey. There were also there were also spray like you know they were spraying the cars, but then there was a there was also something sprayed about Joe Biden. Oh, oh yeah, it, it, was, it said Imich Biden. <laughs> so we were just we as we were driving away, Imich Biden. <laughs> Somebody fucking off the fumes. Yeah. Too much fumes. <laughs> Started spraying it, and it wasn't even like on the cars. Like someone just sprayed it on the dirt. Like I'm so mad. I'm gonna tag the earth. 
<laughs> They'll never be able to get rid of it. Look at me, me Jim. <laughs> Uh, that that now like that road trip now that we're not doing it uh, is the most fun thing ever <laughs> on it was hell it was fun like well the fun parts were fun yeah, most okay, of it was sitting in a car it was just like hot or just hung just uncomfortable yeah. you know what I mean yeah. not, not like brutal but I, you know Gus we're, we're, we're old, old enough yeah. where it's like I just I, what if I want a snack I want to go get it mm -hmm. I don't want to have to be like can we pull over at the mm -hmm. next yeah. I thought, yeah. you know what I mean I'm not 12 yeah. I just if I want, I'll, I'll drive my car it's just not being able to do what you want for like a week and you're just like, Ugh. and then it's like, the stuff is fun, but also it's like, and we're rolling. You got to do it again. Oh, yeah, yeah. Again. Now it's just like, hey, remember when, you know, we ate that peanut butter and jelly sandwich oh. that the king loved so much? And, and, that and, place and, is gone now. and Big Ray, it's gone too. Well, I mean, I mean, That's first sad. of all, first of but, all, the owners and the clientele clocked an average about age 97. That's true. Okay? <laughs> and I'm not exaggerating. They still listen to Elvis. Um, yeah. he came there once and it's like their whole, it's like their whole thing. They drove is, out to the tarmac where he was and like, him a peanut butter and jelly and bacon. bacon, bacon, bacon. Uh, and Elvis ate there roll, once, but like that's like roll. to this day, like Elvis ate here twice. <laughs> we, and, and one of the big, big Ray, who's one of our camera guys was out there. I call him big Ray. So people don't ever think we're talking about Ray. Right. Cause if I say I was talking to Ray and it's like big Ray, he's big. He's big. <laughs> he's, and he's funny as shit, but he was. When we held the sandwich up to him, when we held the sandwich up to him, he was head, he started him. like he started gagging. Yeah, he was. Yeah, Shane was Shane, there. Shane it. is mimicking it. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know, and he just kept saying it's peanut butter jelly, it's and, it's, and it's on like um, it's like a, it was like a roll. Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah, it was, and it, it was, was like it looked weird as bacon bits in it, but he dude, he was like ooh, ooh. he took a bite, he went oh it's not bad, <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, it's been fucking peanut butter and jelly, right? It was so weird. He was like, I want to spell <laughs> Filmin. Oh, God. Oh, uh, Now that I see Coffee Break and chat wrote Imich Bybin, we need to make an Imich Bybin shirt. <laughs> Why yeah. don't we have that? Well, what we did do is we we did the I did that sticker. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, them, those we, are great. We got those. They're doing that those forever. Are, really forever. Yeah, they came Somebody out Somebody hit me the other day with drop. Price well, they dropped, but then, then they went back, back up. up. Right, exactly. They, they all worked out perfectly. So, we manipulated than, yeah. it with Soros, obviously, when the stickers came out. We were like, shut the prices are down. And I was like, just tell Soros to fucking Let, put them back up. Back up. Yeah. back up. He called Bybin. He <laughs> beached those prices right through the roof. And then somebody put a I did that sticker on there. That's like my fav my favorite thing about <laughs> about like the, the uh, podcasts and stuff like that is just doing this like really weird wacky shit, but having like a real company, mm -hmm. right? You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. be able to do it, not like me going, "How do I make stickers?" Just right. going, Tony, can we make? I did that stickers, and he goes, "I'll come up with something." <laughs> and like a, an hour later, he has them made up. I fucking love that. We got all the, the stupid forks and stuff made. Oh, that's oh so those good. are cool. The monkey rug, dude. That thing is so have, nice and soft. Have you heard about the Anma mug? No. In, in, in process? It. No. So, you know, anima means something. No one's been able to guess what it means. Everyone knows what it means. Uh, we, we're going to make Wait. a mug that has the anima logo on it. Uh -huh. But then once you pour hot liquid in it, it reveals the name of the podcast. Oh, that's cool. So that's the only way to learn the name idea. of the podcast is to spend 15 bucks and buy a mug. <laughs> <laughs> and, but nobody's allowed to tell anybody. <laughs> yeah, you can't. If you, you buy can't. one, you got to be quiet. You paid for it. You'd be throwing your own money away yeah. if you told someone. Oh. Right. Don't, You'd don't, be a fool. Don't be selfless. Be greedy. greedy. <laughs> be greedy. Keep it for yourself. You but, did that. But if someone guesses it before, then we'll of course obviously say it. Doesn't Anma send, mean send them a free cup? Doesn't Anma mean oh, yeah, Joe is on it? That's the meaning of Anma. Joe's gonna be on it once. Yeah. Watch. Joe's gonna figure it out what the name is before that come out comes out. Oh shit! Oh, gonna maybe. ruin literally he, three sales. No! <laughs> you need you need a non-Austin mind. One of those crack this mystery. <laughs> Does it have anything to do with Austin? I mean, he, I mean, you're asking. Wow, you're asking for hints. Okay? I'm not, I'm not in, in, in the business in, of giving hints. He's not in the business of giving hints. He's in the business of misery. I'm in the business of making mugs. <laughs> and Amichin Bybin. Amichin Bybin, and I also saw, dude, everybody's getting their little cup game going on. Red Web has their little baby oh, bubble yeah. cups. They sold out of that this morning. Yeah, they did. Yeah, I mean, you know, they got the swim in our in our wake, in our shopping network wake. I like that we've primed, we fired up the audience. You know what I mean? Got the got the juices going. We'll do it. <laughs> That's all. Those things are cool. They're awesome. Austin, Fredo's no got one on his assholes. desk. What? What? So go ahead. What did you Austin, Austin, no more assholes. Okay. That's what so it the hints for, that right? we have given are that Austin's not one of the words. It's in English and it's three words. Whoa! Oh, that's right. and it's three words? Yeah. What? Oh, that's right. I Animal forgot. House Rules. Got How it. did you guess it? it. What? I'll, I'll take my free cup. <laughs> No, no, no. This is a different podcast. I'm not playing the fucking guessing game on this podcast. I hate playing it for a week already. I'm not fucking playing it again on this one. I'll be honest. I, like, again, Gus, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Like, I know you well enough. 
seeing it from afar, I went, like, I, I know that's a thing. I know, like, anime means something, yeah. and people don't know what it means, and they guess on a guy. I'm like, I wonder how much that pisses them off. Oh, Why did you go, no, I'm not doing this? And I was like, I was right. <laughs> yeah, I, don't want to, I hate it. I, I, I never discussed it with you, but it doesn't surprise me Don't at want all. it. <laughs> hey, you know that thing you made? It's pissing you off. <laughs> you did that. The thing you made and named. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Uh, you were talking about like the people watching you in West Texas asking if you're making a movie and stuff. Years ago, we made that uh, convention documentary, Unconventional. Oh yeah. yeah. And oh, yeah. we went up to SantaCon in uh, New York, which is just like fucking drunk ass people dressed up like SantaCon. <laughs> right. Right. And we're like going, like doing like work. reason can't prevail at that place, no. right? Like you know, there's not. We're walking there's around. Not... We're walking around Manhattan. We're somewhere near the Flatiron <laughs> Building, I think, and like they're filming me walking down the street, talking, and then like. This woman like jumps up into the shot and is like, man, starts addressing the camera. So like, I hold my mic in front of her face so she can talk and say whatever the fuck she's saying. And then we're like, okay, thanks. And then the, the producer's like, here, can you just sign this release so we can use whatever you say? I'm not signing anything. I'm not, you don't have permission to use my footage. Like, you got in front of the camera. <laughs> 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 you remind me of this. You jumped out. That's awesome. <laughs> We didn't ask you. I didn't stick this microphone in your face. You grabbed the camera. And the Why are you yeah. filming me? Right. You can't say that. You can't That's pull awesome. that shit. Stop. Stop, Stop filming, filming me. me. Give me that fucking camera. Stop looking at me. I was so mad. Because this was like, it was a long day of filming. I dealt with drunk people all day. And I was like, that was it. I was like, I can't, I can't do this anymore. I can't fucking I, Dude, like... Just at least in that context of, say, like, <laughs> not necessarily that's, like, man on the street, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But it's, like, in the realm of, like, you're there with a camera and there's a person or whatever. Of all the stuff that, um, you know, we do, like, that's a little bit different here and there of, like, sketch stuff or, or live action stuff or whatever. Even, even stuff like um, Chris did, uh, what, what the fuck Social was disorder? it? Social disorder. Oh, yeah. Of, like, <clears throat> cringe, like, but, but you... Right? Like, that's fine with me. Mm -hmm. It's dealing, just going up to a random person and going, talking to this microphone. I would rather be dead. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, and like, it's like, oh, it could be fine. He's like, yeah, it could not be, though. Yeah. Could I, you know what? I'll just rely on literally anyone else. <laughs> I'm like, I just, it's just something I never, ever want to do, yeah. ever. The number of times I've been involved in some sort of production that's like, well, we could do a man on the street thing. And I go, I never. Hey, you know all the people we hired? You know, like this, it's like, dude, face jam, this is gonna be great. You guys, like, you're bouncing off each other. You got that, we got the sauce. You know what we should do? Just get somebody that doesn't know who you are. Throw them in the yeah. face. <laughs> I'm like, no, God, no, I'll never do it. I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna hear what people have to say. Get the hell away from me. <laughs> Again, when we were doing that convention documentary, we had to do, we went to an Abraham Lincoln impersonator convention. Oh, God, this is like oh, my nightmare. God, it was like, the worst. So, so I was like, I was like in my hotel room the morning before we we're gonna get started. I'm dressed up as Abraham Lincoln and I'm looking at myself in the mirror. I'm like, tall enough. I need to go talk to strangers today. Like, I need to go talk to strangers who are also dressed as Abraham Lincoln <laughs> about Abraham Lincoln. And they're going to uh, want to talk. Right. You know what I mean? It. You're not going to have to pull teeth. <laughs> How am I going to fucking do that? i got to walk up to strangers you're gonna and get, talk to you're them. You're going to get a lot of in-character Abe Lincolns just not breaking. What is this device? Oh, no, oh my God. <laughs> Were you there? <laughs> what? One dude, People are assholes. One dude dressed up. Shut as, up. One dude dressed up as Jefferson Davis to be funny. Oh. I was like, that's not funny, dude. <laughs> like, you know, I, I don't, why is everyone okay with this? The Lincolns loved it. Uh, like you, we had Canon cameras. Like, uh -oh. oh, are you pointing a cannon at Abraham Lincoln? I was like, please. Don't worry about it, bro. You're gonna get killed yeah. anyway. <laughs> don't worry about the picture. <laughs> don't go to the theater. <laughs> Did you enjoy the show, Mr. Lincoln? Uh, yeah. So I, I can definitely relate. Uh, that's. I, I'm fine hanging out with you know you guys. I'm just I'm, I'm just not built like, for it. Going, I'm not built. Going for up it. to strangers, I'm like I already have. I like, can watch it. Anxiety. I just can't do. I just I would I'd be too rude. I would just be so I would have no patience for anything. You, would, would you, you wouldn't have a filter either. You're like, are you fucking dumb? Well, I mean, what else? Because then the other thing, Joe, is then I gotta make it funny, right? What else am I gonna do but hammer this person? Like, I can't just use it if two people are just standing there. I I can do a bit about anyone and just have them go. And I'll be fine with that. What I don't want is them go, let me let me say something. Hang on. Yeah. And I'm just going, oh, no. I'm just standing there. I'm just going, wait, this is my job. Why am I not talking? You I think don't that's funny? I'm, I'm too much of an introvert. Like with yeah. new people or people I don't know, it's like I don't want to engage. My, my default is <clears throat> retreat, be quiet. Oh, I can't. I can't. <laughs>
You're reliving this in your head. No, right I'm now. not. I, 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 <laughs> I mean, that's. I, I mean, like, yeah, you doing that is insane. Ugh. Like, like, I just don't want to. No. I feel like it probably bothered you more. Like oh. it has nothing to do with being an injury for me. I just, I just can't stand these people. <laughs> it's like, like the random person is too much of a risk. Certainly not someone dressing like Abraham Lincoln <laughs> solely, and that's fine. But that's why I won't be there. I'd be putting myself in a bad situation. At the at the steakhouse that we were at, the old dudes who were because we had, we had parked in like a certain way to block some of the the lot off. Yeah. To I'm shoot. sure it's like Anla, right, where you want to film, but like just you want as little people to come yeah. right, bother sure. you as possible. Sure. You're kind of hiding in public. The amount of people yeah. who are coming by to be like, are you filming something? But also the old dudes were like, they were, they looked pissed as they were walking by. Like, But there's also a lot of people that won't <laughs> ask a question and they'll just, yeah, like, they're, they're, yeah. I mean, they're like Stalling. two feet behind like doing? the camera. Like not far at all. Like, like behind Big Ray. What's going on? <laughs> And, and just nothing, just to the point where, and we're doing bit, we're doing it. You know what I mean? Where you want to go, can I help you? <laughs> I mean, do you have a fucking question? <laughs> Look or leave. I, what the fuck are you doing? Go to the restaurant. You're not in the goddamn thing. God. <laughs> Look from over there. <laughs> It'll be funny once it's edited, trust me. <laughs> right, I'm sure you will not find it funny at all. Trust <laughs> no, me. No. You are not our audience, okay? Don't worry about it. People, I, the, 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 like persona, and it could be, really be with anything, but it comes to mind with like making something. It's the person walking in, not knowing what's going on, and then like, well, sell it to me. Yeah. Why should I like it? I, I don't care what you like. Go away. I have to fucking make it first, asshole. My, my favorite is like people who, who like, tell me a joke. Or they'll ask like, oh, what do you do for a living? Like it's, uh, I fucking hate answering this question. Like, oh. <laughs> Uh, so I, I at least have editor. an answer to shut That's it down. What I now. always say. That's what I, I say, do editor. Now. That's what I do. If I don't <laughs> want to get into it, I say I work IT. Uh, nice. But it's like, I, I make podcasts. Oh, what do you make podcasts about? Uh, Plane crashes. Oh, okay. Like that's it. <laughs> There's no more conversation after that. Because it's true. Black box down. Go subscribe yeah. now. Did I tell you I was flying back from uh, from Philadelphia one time, and uh, I was sitting in the terminal waiting to board the plane, and there was a woman there who was wearing a black box down T-shirt. <laughs> really? And I was just oh, like, no. read the fucking room. We're, <laughs> we're, like, we're getting on a no, plane right doing, now. We're doing the black box down <laughs> challenge. No! <laughs> so we told people for a while, it's like, hey, when you're on a plane, tell the person next to you to listen to black box down. <laughs> well, I was thinking, I was like, I took over editing that <laughs> podcast once Dennis had left, and uh, as I was sitting there in the terminal, I was suddenly reminded about a bunch of them, and I was like, <laughs> Today could be that day. Nah, you're fine. Oh, uh, yeah. It's like, let's do that on my next flight. Yeah. Let's yeah. Black Box down. I, I got some or not. recommendations. <laughs> I, I think one time early after it came out, I realized I was in an airport wearing the Team Nice Dynamite shirt. Mm -hmm. And oh. I went, I'm not going to wear this at the airport anymore. It's just a stick of dynamite with a smiley face yeah. on it. And I went, it's not gonna, I just have a lot of other shirts. Not a good airport shirt. I just have a lot of other shirts. Yeah. I'm just not going to wear <laughs> I wore the Voodoo Ranger shirt to pick up my kid from daycare the other day. And I was like, the, the, see, 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 daycare is, or like school, that's the same thing with me, where it'll really cross, like, it'll come closer, right? like, yeah, I know it's not, like, it's a hat, it's not like, it doesn't say like, fuck you on the hat, but like, uh, like, even if like, I wear that stolen hat, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, but I have like, which is no good, but like, the regular, Torchy's one, I okay. go there, I leave, and I'm like, oh, my hat's a damn good. But the, those kids probably can't read. No. Yeah. Not, <laughs> that, not, not that, that high. high. Like not that high. Five, yeah. They're still low to the ground. I don't have any insane shirts like, you know, eat my asshole out or something like on my shirt. Because uh, I know people like, my, like Iffy, I'm sure he's got a shirt that probably says, I will eat your asshole. It's probably, and it, there's like, a written. picture of an asshole. Right, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like, I don't own anything like that. So I'm never like, oh, no. But it'll be like, like one, one that's really good is it's an old um, Jeff hat. It's like, it was just one of the Jeff collection logos and it's a, it's brass knuckles. And so it's oh, just right. brass knuckles on my oh, hat. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> one of my kids thinks it's a paw print. They're like, I love your paw print hat. I'm like, yeah, it's, that's my paw print hat. <laughs> so I'm like, that's my cover already. Yeah. <laughs> that's just a paw print. It's just yeah. a, a paw print that's illegal yeah, in just, some states. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's oh, yeah. No big deal. It's anal, just rubble. Anal passage. Uh, fuck face shirt. Yeah, like, like I don't own the yeah. anal passage shirt. Do you have a 100% eat ass shirt? I have it, but I, I would never that. wear it unless here. <clears throat> Right. <laughs> like, you haven't worn the 100% eat ass shorts at home? Well, they don't say 100% eat ass. It just says 100% It just says 100% eat. 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 The ass is implied. On the shorts. Yeah. So that's a little better. But, okay. uh, but you should I'm not going to wear it. I'm not going to wear it. I'm not going to worry yeah. about it at home, though. It could say eat asshole at home. I just don't have, at my age, I don't have like a ooh, be careful collection of shirts. Like, <laughs> I just I'm like, don't wear this near a school. You might upset someone. Like, I just won't own this shirt. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> you know I, mean? I don't want. I don't want geographic restrictions on I, my shirt. You know yeah, I mean? that's a fair point, yeah. actually. 
I don't. Oh. Blizzard's, Blizzard's wardrobe would, would be a bad yeah. place to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, again, that's what, and I'm not, I'm not like just pulling this out of thin air. I'm talking about people like Blizz. People like, don't, don't bully me or I'll come. Right. I love that. I'm, I'm a great <laughs> shirt, exactly. by the way. That's a great so shirt. Funny. Don't always... wear that when you're picking your kid up from school. That, that would be a huge oh no if you walked away. That's the worst case scenario. If you're driving away from the school and you go, oh no! Well, they have a zero percent tolerance on bullying in school. Right. So, oh. okay. Well, yeah. So, yeah. It's so that way, you know, yeah. that, to be very, if you've made a mess, you know oh, someone it, broke the rules. If you wore it, it's like, that's bad. If a child wore it, that <laughs> Bad? It's also bad. What be, are you saying? Well, it would be, no, I'm just saying it would be worse. Okay. They're that's, both that's, bad, that's, Joe. Yeah. No, but it's worse. I was afraid you would say it wouldn't be as bad. No, 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 no. no. It would be, be way worse. It would be way worse. I wasn't saying it was going to be not as bad. That, this is that's, when you choose to chime in. The crazy. <laughs> You went, I'm going all in on the don't bully me, I'll come kids shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Can I get that in a onesie? Oh my god. Jesus. If only if only it were eight minutes later and we could just end right now. <laughs> It's such a clean ending. You talked yourself into a corner. Well, no, we well, yeah, well, you made a mess, and we just have to sit in it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> much like the baby. Yeah, oh, I know. Uh, uh, <laughs> this was good. I like this. This was fun. Wow, this this took a turn. Uh, I, uh, I, Nick, you got a couple. Uh, I'm just saying. I think you got a couple of <clears throat> made a couple of enemies. Uh oh, like amongst your peers, a lot of like <laughs> Nick's in the show. Okay. Oh, I did hear that. Yeah. I, I mean, like, I, and that's just the ones you heard. Yeah, oh, Imagine how rampant it must be. I'm just saying. It's like, it's like a cockroach. You see one, there's, there's a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> you, hear, you hear someone talking shit behind your back, there's a hundred. <laughs> Same thing. But what about if it's in front of you? Because it was. <laughs> <laughs> At least Then twice, it might just right be here. the one. <laughs> then, yeah, then it's more like 20, 30. It's just one cockroach going, hey, fuck you, I'm right here. <laughs> you want a word with me? <laughs> oh, my God. Do you, uh, are there big cockroaches in Colorado? I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm uh, no, it. actually, uh, no. I haven't. I haven't really seen a big cockroach in Colorado. Maybe it's, is it too cold for them? Do they oh, like maybe. it? It might be too cold. I don't know. They're fucking everywhere here. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I've are. seen fucking massive ones. Like, like slammer size. Like, they're fucking. Oh no! Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, they're no. filled with cheese too. Oh no! What do you think? Now I know what the slammers are. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh, they just oh. drop them in the deep fryer. Brisket. Wink. I mean, if that's what it tasted like, I'd eat roach. Yeah, I'd think about it. Bugs aren't bad. The, the, thing, the thing about I've bugs before. like I believe it, and everyone, yeah. oh, yeah. <clears throat> you know, they're big on bug protein. The thing is, they're just too goddamn small. It's not a thing to be eating. There's right? billions of them, though. That, but that's what I'm saying. But it's just like, I, why am I going to eat like 500 bugs to get like a spoon of something when I can just eat a food? What if that's all you had? I'm saying it's like it's, it's a like, lot of work. It's just a lot of it's a lot of work for food. Like bugs and bugs and bugs and bugs. I mean, you could just get a shovel and scoop a whole anthill into a... But why would I do that? <laughs> That's a lot of dirt. I don't know. I'm just saying, like, I believe... <laughs> I, I, be I, believe the I believe in the people that swear by, like, I eat bugs and they're yeah. good. I mean, like, most of the fucking world does, right? I just, like, I just want to, I want to pick something up and bite it and be like, mm, I don't know if I like it or not. And I just can't wrap my head around little tiny bugs. There's just too, like... I need like a bit like I could see myself eating like an iguana, no fucking problem. Just pick, you know what big, I mean? Yeah. What? Big, yeah, like a skewer. Yeah. Well, it's gotta be like skewer size oh, for you. me to want to eat it. You can okay. take small. a bite out of it. You know, yeah. like I don't want to okay. eat a snail. It's just a small little bug. Michael thrive in Florida. Uh, apparently. <laughs> I've eaten gator. Is yeah. gator good? Gator's fine. Gator. It's chewy chicken, right? Yeah. It's it's like, I mean, although I'm sure there's lots of different ways to prepare it. I heard it's like in sausage form. It, it tastes like fish in the texture of chicken. Oh, I didn't get any fish. I didn't fish. get fish. Oh, okay. oh. I think it was kind of game mine too. Hmm. Yeah, because I hate fish. And I was like, Do you like shrimp? Shrimps? No, but I can eat it. Hmm. Do that's, you? That's like, oh, I love shrimp. That's like ocean bugs. Yeah. 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 Oh, it is. Oh, it's disgusting Eric's when you think about, about it. Lobsters, they're all bugs. They're yeah. weird. And they crawl on the ground. You know what I mean? But they're not swimming around. Well, I eat too. Lobsters swim. They flap their tails. Yeah, but they're also fucking around. Yeah. They, they, they swim, and then what do they do? They sink, and they crawl around like a bug. God. What bugs did you eat? I'm curious. Yeah, that's a good question. Ants. I've had the the, the scorpion lollipops. Mm. Ooh. Uh, I've had um, I've had a tarantula before. Oh, oh I don't know if I could do that one. I'm out. Tarantula's a little... A little hairy? Ugh. It's not. It's not that. It's like a bomb of goo. Oh God! Sometimes mm. could be. Let's see. That's the mm. other thing too is, and, and just bugs. Like 
they seem more, again, because they're so small, like, not gooey, but like, I want meat. And there's just not enough See, bug for meat. That's you know what I, mean? it's funny I, I don't like, think there's any meat in bugs. Es- right? That's probably why I don't want bugs. That's Esther and I point. were talking about this the other day. It's like, you're seeing bug shell. Yeah. At that that's point. It's just like all uh, Like all a shell. chicken, it's they're, like, I want I want that meat. And there's that. it's not in a bug. That's more why I don't want it. And also, they look, they look gross. Yeah. But like, even, I don't want what's on the inside of the bug. Mm-hmm. I want what's inside the chicken. <laughs> you know, I want what's in that pig. <laughs> I want to slam them. <laughs> Squeal. Dude, I'm going to get slammed. We're getting, Dude, you're, getting, you're, getting, you're getting slammed. I don't want to get slammed. Oh, yeah. slammed big time. It's like it, it sounds good, that. but at the Not same right time, it's let the boys be boys. We can get Cody. <laughs> Cody will go get. What's up? So, no, you know, you looked like something happened. No, I was just okay. Just check it. Oh yeah. I don't know if you saw like a threat coming and then you weren't gonna tell us. You know what I mean? Like oh just shit! Out. Right, right, right. I better get out of the way and leave them behind to <laughs> slow down whatever it is I'm leaving from. Yeah, you know, that like would a, be my like a boulder. You know, like the boulder will probably get caught up a couple seconds crushing their bones <laughs> and give Joe time to escape. <laughs> They'll slow it down. Yeah. The ah, blood, the blood my knee! <laughs> <laughs> uh, didn't Chris eat a oh, tree? A lot? Chris has eaten a lot of shit. And Chris also ba- was baby birding people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? That was a canned tarantula. From like baby tarantula. birding people from like, like big old yucky eggs, right? Oh. It was like. What kind of bird was it? Was it ostrich was yeah, it? Something yeah, something like that. Yeah. It was like taking like a big ostrich egg and then sucking it and spitting it into somebody's mouth. Oh. Pre-COVID, of course. Yeah. Oh, the- <laughs> You ever seen an ostrich egg? Yeah, I have. Okay. But you just- ever seen Chris spit it in somebody's mouth? No, okay, no, I haven't. There's, I don't there's, think there's, I want there's to. There's footage online. It? Yeah. Google it. We uh, made omelets out of those. Things. Yeah. Yeah, they were good. The shells not are so fucking Not the ones hard. related to Chris. Not the Chris no. ones. Did, okay. We did it before Chris got to it. Yeah. He got the, he got the leftovers. <laughs> And then, and then someone else and got, then someone those, got yeah. the leftovers. And oh, so no. there's a lot oh, of egg. No, bye, Shane. It was egg. good. There's a lot of egg in there. <laughs> I, I just, he looked back. I glanced over. It made me laugh because Shane was leaving. But it was the way that he was like, like closing the door, like don't, don't make a noise. Like is that pro- he can fucking slam that professional thing. audio when, podcast. It's, it's like thirty feet away, and we're wearing lobs, and he's like, like to, closing <laughs> the sliding door. Do you want me to go fully it? I'll get up right on it and close it right into my mic. Yeah. yeah. That's how we end the show in two minutes. Oh, two minutes. Then. Then your life will never be the same because you're going to win Slammers. Oh, I, mean, I mean, I'm not taking Oh, he's opening. I'm not going to oh, There he goes. Hey. There's no way they heard that. No right? one heard that. There's no way. No way. <laughs> I was trying to look for the Chris video, and I don't think I want to look for it. No. So why were you trying to look for it? Because I, I thought about it while I was looking for it. So you it. took the phone out and went, no, and put it away. Yeah. yeah. We'll get you in the push-up. Don't worry. Oh. Then you go Just for it. you. He got the video halfway loaded. <laughs> I was like, that's good enough. And then he put it behind him. Yeah. I, I've seen enough. I don't want to see it. See it. It's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it'll be okay. Do you have any uh, favorite restaurants, any favorite barbecue places you found since you've been here? Terry Black's. Terry Black's. <laughs> Hell yeah. One, so. one part, great. Other part, we went with Al Alfredo, took pictures, and kept sending them to Because <laughs> <laughs> so it, it was, was a very good experience. It was a very good experience because he was like, I want to go to Terry Black's, and then he wasn't available, so we went, and we were just sending him pictures of, of us awesome. like, barbecue. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I love the banana pudding. Oh, yeah, they, were, they were good, and they were fast too. Because that's the other thing when you talk barbecue in Austin, it's like go to this place, roll the wait forever. Right, yeah. Terry Black's is like a really busy Rudy's. I don't think we waited it during like lunch on like a weekday. Five minutes, ten okay, minutes. It was definitely not five minutes, minutes, but it was maybe ten or fifteen. Pretty quick. It was not an hour. Yeah, like there's a place down the road from Franklin called Micklewaite. Oh, they're known God. for like their big beef ribs. So and I would always laugh at everyone waiting in line at Frank's. Like, I'm just going to go down Mickle. Everything Mickleweight's fucking awesome. But then the problem is everyone else found out about Mickleweight, and now it's like, oh, shit. No, that was due. Now it's, now it's fucking and, busy. And trust me, they didn't come from Franklin. It's just also now Franklin. Right. You know what I mean? It's, it's just like, that that's, ooh, they, don't, Franklin. they don't leave. It's just more people just appear. Yeah, it's like, oh, cool. Everyone everyone found out. Well, that's why I, I have I'm this. For I, dude, yeah. I have this um, pizza place I just found out about. I don't know how long they've been open. Maybe a year or so. But, uh, like, Closer to my house, but like, r- like real close. Like, like we don't get this lucky. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, you can take side streets to get Ooh. there, and I'm already <laughs> dreading it getting back to <laughs> because it's like I can order it, go get it, and come back, and I'm just like, oh. yeah, that's just teleporting. Even driving, <laughs> not to having like, to drive on like a highway. Driving you know, to the whatever. home slice close to the studio, it's like it's a fucking nightmare. Oh, Even though it's really close, it is really close, the like geographically and it's everything. Close. It's like. Yeah, this is both geographically close and easy to get to and park and leave. Yeah. And it's fucking fast. It's not like a slow restaurant. The trifecta. What's, yeah, what's the name of it? Yeah, it's called... <laughs> That's the it's, oh, it's called... It's over now. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to get your RTX tickets available last week. 
for, for first members only last sixth, <laughs> the March sixth or now. Now. Um, It'll probably be this summer. Did we say a date? July 7th to 9th. Wow. Wow. Incredible. Ooh. Talking point. Hey, you know what? You should run it. <laughs> no, no. You I'm should, good. yeah, you should I'm run good. RTX. End it. End the That's show. That's a good idea. A Gus for idea. RTX. Tony, can, write it down. No. Gus for RTX. No. You can get Barbara to help you. No. <gasps> yeah. This is no. good. This is good. You'll we'll see you in your office. You're going to trend on Twitter. No. <laughs> Thank you.